Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome in the most underrated podcast you already know. Broadcasting from Certified Tattoo Studios. I am your man, Thomas the Franchise. The homie Dal Palantonio sitting across from me. JJ Stringstein here at the end of the table. What you fools know about that? I had to play uh, a little T.I. coming in today. Not, not only for one, because I haven't heard this for a long time, and I love this jam. Great jam. But uh, what do you guys know about that? Av's moving on. Hmm. Knocking the Calgary Dude, Flames. Top I am seed. so excited. Oh Knocking them out. What you guys know about that? What you know about the Nugs getting a dub on hmm. Saturday night, coming back to Denver for game five. Tied at two all, right? Tied up, yeah. So we go two, two, one, one, one in the NBA, which is yep. a ton of travel. Yeah. I think it's kind of absurd. You should do it. Uh, what is hockey? Two, three, two. Two, three, two. So, yeah. you know, it's a little bit different, but nonetheless, tied up the series with the Spurs. A lot of people left the Nuggets uh, or thought they were dead or mm-hmm. left them for dead, even though it just, me and JJ were talking about that on Saturday. It feels like they're dead, yeah. but they're not really. Because they, they, they were only a game down, off you know? the beginning of the game extremely weak. Like, it just didn't look good. Well, in the, the series, be- I'm saying. Like, in the series, yeah, people were not believing in them. And it's like, they're down a game, guys. Yeah. It's not like they're down 3-1. to yeah. one, You know what I mean? Like, For people sure. 3-0. People, it's just, it was weird to me, but I get it. We got blown out in game one. We had to come back from 19 down two separate times to win game two. Yeah. Yeah. We got blown out in game three. And then in game four, we do the blowing out. Right. We, I like to do the blowing. No, no, I don't. No homo. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. Let me. Uh, Hold up. I got. I got to give Rewind myself that. a gunshot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to shoot myself like ten times for that one. Um, but now I just messed up the intro, uh, so I had to bring that no back in too. But anyway, um, the we'll get into the Nuggets conversation, all that stuff. Easter weekend. How was your guys' weekend? Oh no, that was that's what I was that's where I was going. What you know about that for the Nugs? What you know about that for the Avs? And what you know about that? And I got. I just. By the way, about the Avs. Yeah. I'm going to Game One of Round Two. I hate you. Are you really? <laughs> yeah, I'm really. We got tickets. That's the worst. Wait, how do is Game One for sure in Denver? Yes. Oh shit. Wow. Yeah, we're just waiting. What do to you see know about the that? The Sharks or the Knights win. I'm so. mad confused because wait, if it's two three two, how does it? That means the two, three. See that that doesn't make sense to me. I'm confused right now. And I feel like your facts are wrong, but maybe I'm wrong, because check it out: the the abs are the worst seed, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. We're going to be playing either the two seed or the three seed in the Sharks or the Golden Knights. Right. They would have home home ice advantage. But we wrecked the number one seed. I get that, but that is that shouldn't have a, an effect going into round two, right? Yeah, I feel I like we're still playing. I don't the know. Top. The tickets they put out were game one and game like they had game uh, one, two, and three, and then game four is away. Interesting. Huh. So, so wait. So that means the first three games are at home? Yeah. At Dallas, look this up. I'm that so confused. Make sense. I'm so confused. If you're going to game one, yes. that means we're playing, what, three games at home? Yes. That still doesn't make any sense because I thought it was 2-3-2. Two, two. So the home team would still maintain the advantage. You get two games at home, you go on the road for three, and then you come back for the final two at home to close out your building. Yes. You still get four games, they get three. Yes. What you're saying is we would have the advantage, which doesn't make sense because we're the higher seed. Yes. I'm very confused. Maybe And maybe we need to wait until uh, the Sharks and Knights. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe idiots Cap like off. us that don't know what the hell they're talking about should not be talking about stuff like this until the shit is finalized. Because we're over here trying to be uh, we're over here trying to be NHL center ice and bring the coverage. We don't even know what's going on. You're going to a game that doesn't even exist. <laughs> I'm going. Oh, show me. What's up? Let me see. Game one. Oh, see, two, they're all TBA three. though. They're all yeah. TBA. So you're going to game one at Pepsi. The you're going. Let's just call this JJ. Let's what? let's let's clear all this up. Okay. Let's clear up the madness here. First few minutes of the show, and we're already off the rails. Uh, you're going to the first. Let's call it the first game at the Pepsi Center. Yeah, it's not sure. necessarily game one because that may be in San Jose. That may be in Vegas. Game. Let's call it the first game at the yeah, Pepsi Center okay. is what you're going to. Yeah. We don't know if that's game one. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go there. That way we're not confusing it's, everyone. But it literally says GM1. Yeah, I think they don't know what the hell they're and talking then about. And GM2 and the, GM3. I think that the TBA next to it, that's what gives me pause. To okay. be announced. You know what I mean? There's not really yeah, I got you. any... But there's no... Either way, I'm going to an Avs playoff game. Either way, you're going. It's tight. Well, that's cool. Cause if the, and I'll let you know, if the Avs play the Golden Knights, I'm going out to Vegas and I'm going to an Avs game as well. Hell yeah. Right. I'm going to be out there right. at the T-Mobile Arena. I'm hitting up my boy John Ledge. But Leo Ledge, looks what's it, good? The Sharks might ticks. pull it through. 
What's that? By the looks of it, the Sharks might pull it through. Dude, it I was cheering so hard for the Sharks Jeff Kirby last night. was all going crazy on Twitter yesterday. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he oh was. Oh, my gosh. I was cheering so hard for the Sharks just so that the Avs could get an extra day of rest. Sure. You know, because I knew that if they are going to have to extend it to Game 7, if the series ends tomorrow night, yeah. Avs are playing Golden Knights starting Wednesday probably, yeah. right? Because the Knights lead the series 3-2? They did, yeah. Them? Now it's 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three all So now. it's tied up. Game okay. 7 on... Uh, what it was today? Game seven tomorrow night, Tuesday. Tomorrow night, yep. huge night for sports on Tuesday. You got or for us here in Denver, we got the Abs Tuesday. I'm sorry, we got the uh, Nuggets game seven there, and then you got the Nuggets playoff game as well. Nuggets coming back to Pepsi, mm-hmm. so they're sorry. gonna be. They have two games left at Pepsi if they can take it to a game seven, or they could just close it out. They could just win at Pepsi and then win, go win in San Antonio and, yeah, and be, be done. done. But it's gonna be fun, man. Either way, it's gonna be a good time. But uh, the other, what you know about that? You guys know, like, did you guys see me on Twitter? Taken up from the Philly plug, betting oh, yeah. on the Phillies. I, I did Phillies see that. Rockies twenty oh, yeah. a game. We st- we should we should have started on Thursday, and I really would have caked up. Yeah. But instead, we started on Friday. I was late. My social media game's been weak. We we negotiated twenty bucks a game, so we split over the first two games. I think I win Friday. He wins Saturday. Uh, Sunday comes around. He's like, yo, in the morning, yo, you want to go hundred a game? You want to go hundred for the last game since yeah. we're uh, since we're tied yeah. up? Right. Let's make it more interesting. So I don't see the message until I'm well into Easter with the family, going through, doing all my Easter stuff. I don't see the message till late. Uh, I hit him back. I'm like, yo, or he said, he has sent me a couple messages. You want to go 100 or you want to go 50? And so I hit him back after the after the game had started. Rockies were up 1-0 at that time. Sure. And I was like, I'm down for whatever. I'm down for 50. I'm down for 100. I know the game already started. So then by the time he hits me back, the Rocks are up 4-0. It's like, oh, yeah, he's not going to, he's like, yeah, all right, not. I'm not That's, gonna take that yeah. bet now. It's stupid. So we just went the standard 20. I should have caked up more, but I, you know, Easter got in the way. Yeah. Bunch of kids running around doing nonsense. Uh-huh. We actually uh, went to Dave and Buster's. Did you? Super yeah, fun. I saw yeah. That, man. Yeah. I was at That's Dave dope. and Buster's kicking in my, uh, my nephew, Walter, my nieces, uh, hanging out, having a great time. Sister, uh, lady, it was a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. Love Dave and Buster's. Are Love you competitive? Competing. Are you oh. competitive with your family? I'm competitive with everyone. Bro. Good. I'm if just making sure. If it's if it involves winning, I'm trying to do it. Gotcha. I don't care if it's with my one year old nephew. I'm embarrassing him. Yeah. I'm. I'm. We were bowling. Him and I. He yeah. couldn't even get the ball at the lane, and I'm rifling it in there. Strikes. <laughs> Strikes. Yeah. But I'm doing. I'm. I'm throwing the. I'm throwing the ball. You mean ski ball? And then I'm putting my. Uh, my ear up like I'm Hulk Hogan, just listening for the the strike sound. Yeah. Because I know. I know it's a ten pen. Ten pen barrage. Oh, shit. Boom! Right there. Did I mess up your headphones? No. Can you hear? Okay. Sorry, my headphones we got messed up. But anyway, so that's what I did on Easter Easter weekend. We went and played games. That's awesome. And then uh, went went home, chilled last night, watched the Sharks uh, Golden Knights game. Mm-hmm. Lady was super into it. Like I said, she's into hockey now. It's great. It's fun. Had a great time. Uh, what did you guys do Easter weekend? Any fun? Anything special? Did you just kick it? I felt like a lot of people just really kicked it this year. Like I didn't feel like a lot of my friends that I talked to. They kind of just did their own thing. They didn't even go to like a big gathering or hmm. anything like that. Yeah, what I had a guys? family dinner to go to, and then I helped my buddy change his brake pads and bleed his brake. On Easter. Uh, That's actually, a good friend. Hmm. Okay. It was like a two-day thing. It was terrible. Like the Saturday <laughs> night after the gym, like around like 930, we decided to change his brake pads. We ended – once we got him changed out and started testing him, he wasn't – like his – the pressure on his brake just kind of like – he had soft brakes, in other words. So we had to go through, and uh, the next day we planned to bleed the brakes, but it was a long process because we have never bled brakes before, and we can't fucking shit. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. I'm, so you, I'm very lost with the whole combo. So bleeding what, brakes. Bleeding brakes. What you're doing is you're you're taking the air out of the lines. Yes. So you have and good brake pressure. Is this fluid. necessary? It is absolutely necessary. Before you and change the brake pads, or just necessary, just whenever. I think any any brake jobs that you do, I don't think pads it's necessarily necessary, but if you're doing like brake lines, that kind of stuff, mm. I think it's it's more relevant, but I think you can. This is stuff I never want to do. I just want to be in a position system. to get a new car whenever yeah. I need a new it car. Was, like if you're doing, new, it was doing a maintenance. Yeah, if you're Sounds doing new awful. brake fluid, brake lines, that kind of stuff, you have to bleed the uh, bleed the brakes. Gotcha. But if you're doing pads, you shouldn't have to, but it, it doesn't hurt. You're just taking all the all the air, the unwanted air that would air bubbles. Uh, that would distract your braking. Gotcha. Um, yes. You know, via mechanics. You're okay. just getting that out of the lines. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. 
Interesting. Sounds like a pain in the fucking ass. Sounds terrible on Easter too. (laughs) Sounds awful. Yeah, it was terrible. What about you, Dal? Uh, Yeah, man, I got to I got to hang out with my mom, man. I I don't hang out with her enough. Like I said, I'm kind of a shithead sometimes. I've I've said that in the past, but uh, yeah, Robin and I uh, we took a trip. uh, Took the dog, man, in the Forerunner. Oh, nice. uh, So got him on a big old trip, man, to up up uh, up north in Thornton. So yeah, man, got to spend some time with my mom. She uh, she made my favorite meal, man, ham. And scallop potatoes. Oh, I love scallop potatoes, Dude. especially if they're done right. The, uh, or, or potatoes au gratin, whatever, however they do it. You got it, man. She's got a she's got a recipe cheese. from uh, I think I think her mom oh, or yeah. her grandma, whatever it is. But uh, yeah, man, she just does it well. Super cheesy, man. Just just love that. And then she also made uh, some roast, which was cool, man. Because Robin. You know, Robin's Robin's Jewish, so of Jewish descent. So right. she she's not a big ham fan. You know, she's not everything has she to be goes kosher. Ham, but she's not a big. She goes don't ham, eat ham, yeah. But uh, she ain't about that eating that right, ham. You right, know what I mean? Right. So I get that. She, her big thing is it's not even the, the Jewish descent. It's more of a, I think an animal type of thing. I, they say that uh, pigs are very similar to dogs, and you know, mm, Robin and I right. we're very big dog dog people. But I don't know, man. I, I just yeah. What I, do you do? I can't, How do you I, feel? I can't refuse the bacon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You give me the ham. You give me the bacon. I love that animal, so I don't have as much of a problem with uh, you know. You'll just chow barbecue. it up regardless. You don't even yeah. care. Good ribs, yeah. just disgusting. Is she looking at you disgusted too? While you're just chowing nah, down? she's cool, man. She'll eat bacon every once in a while, but oh, okay. you know, if she has the choice, we're doing turkey bacon, right? Which right. is some bacon. Uh, <laughs> okay, bacon. Yeah. So you went up to your you went up to your mom's. You guys kick it there all day? Uh no, man. We we spent about uh, two or three hours there. Nothing nothing crazy. Morning man, just, or night? Uh, or midday. Or midday. Oh, okay. We uh, we got up there about two o'clock, so I uh, got to spend some time with her. Just kind of talk through some things. Her health, you know, where she's at with her house. She's wanting to kind of downsize. Um, she's going to retire uh, the year after next. Dude, she's been doing it forty two years. Been a teacher. Damn. It's it's incredible, man. So especially once you get older, houses are so much maintenance. Oh, dude, you were just saying sure. you were doing stuff this weekend. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, we can get into that, man, for sure. So uh, before we went and saw my mom, man, I was I was on domestic duty. 101 no sleeping all. in on easter no, like relaxing well I, what do you I, mean? I did you're like because uh, i you know when you picked me up this morning uh i was like yeah man I, I i tried to sleep in and you're like what time you know whatever and i'm like well 10 o'clock yeah and you're like fool my body's programmed no, to wake up at 7 yeah, 7 30 is, dude. Th- to me that's kind of sleeping off. in but i don't really sleep right i, I just kind of like to lay sunday is that day where i just like to kind of lay in bed relax like i said you know the previous week when tiger won the masters you're Robin, up at 7 a.m watching yeah yeah, yeah i was I was up, but I was in bed still, oh, and right. I didn't want to leave, right? Yeah. I'm just comfortable, and Robin got me the Red Bull, got me the muffin, that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, I just didn't want to wake up, but Robin comes up to me, and she's like, hey, babe. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know it was coming? Yeah, I knew it was coming. Uh, <laughs> she's at 10 a.m. She, while you're laying in bed relaxing. She's clanging and banging downstairs, dude. Oh, she's, you know, she's, she's, getting she's, she's getting after it. She's getting after it. You know, she's scrubbing countertops, kitchens, <laughs> get so you cabinets. So you knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. When you, heard her, when you heard the stairs start creaking. Yeah. You heard her walking up the stairs to oh, the yeah. bathroom. You're laying in the bed. Yeah. This is, I, you just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> there you <Yeah>. are. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> totally. And then what? I knew it was coming. And then, uh, you know, so I have my back tor- uh, you turned can't even, towards. You, you're, you're, you're up on the second floor, so you can't even jump out the window. No. Act like you're gone. Like I can't. Take off down the block. You're no. Just, you're stuck. <laughs> yeah. I ain't That's got it. enough time to act like I'm taking a shit and nothing. Okay. <laughs> There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. Uh, but uh, I had my back turned uh, towards the door, so uh, I was trying to get in what they call a vicious loop of YouTube videos. Oh, <laughs> you know, just that's a thing. Vicious loop yeah, of YouTube had, videos. Had my uh, had my headphones in. Where does that come? So from I can't be exactly? distracted. So then she 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 sits next to me on the bed. Right, I'm laying down. <laughs> she sits next to me on my bed on the bed, and she starts stroking my back. Oh, nice. So I'm like, all right, maybe maybe I got this. Maybe maybe this can be okay. Start stroking the back. And then she pulls out one of my headphones. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. I'm caught. Can we just say she it. starts rubbing your back? I don't know about if she starts stroking yeah, your back. Yeah, she starts stroking my back. No, she just starts lightly rubbing your back. That's stroking fine. my back is fine. No, that's not fine. Yeah. Especially when you're laying in bed. Would it sound better uh, if I said stroking my back with audience. CBD? Uh, yeah. Uh, little, no, stroking is not good, guy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> leave that that's, out of there. That's a... Uh, All right. Okay, well, so she takes your headphone out. So she pulls one headphone out. She says, hey, babe. <laughs> And, it goes and of course, and of course, <laughs> I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> of course. So dude. she says, um, you know, you, you, did, you did offer to maybe do some things around the house with me today. I was wondering if we can get started with that. And I'm like, nice. that's fine. <laughs> dude, that's, I gave her that. I gave her that's fine. 
Oh, so I kind of started it off pretty shitty. Um, but anyways, I got my ass up. Uh, I went and <laughs> – so then I got – my big thing in on Sunday is like I'm going to go get a Red Bull. I'm going to go get a you know energy drink. I'm going to go get a muffin. I'm just you know easing into this morning. So I'm walking out, and she's like, where are you going? Oh. And I'm like, damn. Why, do, why does it matter? Can it's I my live? day off. And she's like, <laughs> I was just Dallas. asking. And I'm like, I'm I'm gonna go get an energy Jeez, drink. I'll be you're right just back. Burying yourself right now. So uh, so then uh, I went and go get I, I go and get that, and I walk back in. And I'm like, hey, I'm sorry, I was a little a little harsh, you know. Just d- don't be managing me. You're not my <laughs> manager, okay? Dallas, am I paying you? You're not oh my, my manager. Oh my god. So so then, so, yeah, then yeah. I, so then I was like, I apologize, man. I got my energy drink. It's just like people getting their coffee, right? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, most yeah. people they're I can't wake up. You know, you I don't have, have anything. Oh, I just can't. I just can't get through this day without coffee. You know. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I guess mine's the same way, man. Don't manage me. Let me get my shit. Let me get my routine. That would be so terrible for me because I'm so routine. If I didn't know that's coming, like I need that. I need that. We need to have that talk the night before. Yeah. For me to roll into the day good on Sunday. Yeah. I need to have that night before. Hey, we're going to do, let's wake up. Yeah. Let's get this going. Let's get, that way I can mentally prepare. If I wake up and I'm just ready to, just and, and then it's, and I'm ready, like in my mind, I'm chilling, I'm laying in bed, I'm watching yeah. a little TV, you know, YouTube, whatever. Vicious cycle. Of and YouTube. then all of a sudden, <laughs> yes. <laughs> then all of a sudden out of the blue, I'm hit with, Hey, you want to, I don't care how nice it's said. Oh yeah. Robin said it's super nice too. I know. I know. It just, it would, it would mess my routine up and I would immediately be like, what in the hell? is going on. This yeah. is not where my brain was expecting to be doing right now right. or listening to. I don't even want to hear this right now. Like I would just be so out of my routine that it would bug me. That's you know where I was. Unless it happened the night, like I said, unless it was like, but, it sounds like there was some agreement. There was. You, uh, made. you know, a few days prior. So, you know me, <laughs> I say things and <laughs> yeah. don't always plan. And, and Oh, yeah. And like, on Thursday, you're I, like, oh, yeah, Sunday? Let's yeah. get it done. Sunday. And then That's Sunday exactly rolls what I said. around. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. On Sunday, I think we could. Yeah. Why don't we just go ahead and clean out the garage? Right. You know? Some huge I didn't task. actually put. I didn't actually put my stamp of approval on there and say, I'm good to go. We're right. there, in there, swimwear, right. good to go. Nope. I didn't do that. But the, the other person in this case agreed. pretty much said, well, I think you did. Right. So that's just me. <laughs> that's my fault. So anyways, so we, we start working and or I apologize. I walk in the door and I'm like, yeah, sorry, a little harsh. I got my routine back. Now I'm ready to go. Where do you want to start? She's like, well, instead of cleaning out the garage, how about we go rake leaves? Oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> Dude, nice. outside work <laughs> is cool because I love being outside. Yeah. But instead, Rake's leaves. raking leaves... I think has to be almost worse than painting. Painting is is the absolute worst, right? Like yeah, I just yeah. hate painting. It's just monotonous. It's tedious. It's stupid. You don't get the instant <laughs> gratification because because the paint has to dry to actually see what it's going to look like. Right. I just don't like it. You know what my favorite thing is? Vacuuming. It's instant results. Yeah, I love vacuuming. Yeah. Vacuuming is my shit. Yeah. I do that all day. But anyways, uh, yeah. I'm like, all right, let's rake the leaves. It needs to be done because we need to do a little bit of seeding. Uh, out there we need to uh, you know we've got some dry patches and it'd be nice time to seed uh especially before the rain yesterday we didn't get to it long story short but we got that we got that backyard raked so well (laughs) my back hurt so bad this morning (laughs) i tried to sneeze and almost (laughs) farted at the same time and my back like just popped out of place dude my back popped out of place I, i wish you had that tyson clip my back is broken. I broke my back. <laughs> yes, I remember that clip. <laughs> Seriously, man. I broke my back yesterday working, but uh, pretty sore from the domestic duties. But, man, our yard looks great. And you know what she said? She says, you know what, babe? We're a pretty good team together. We get things nice. done, and there's nothing, wow. I believe, that we can't not do. That's good. That's and awesome, I said, man. I appreciate that. My back still fucking hurts. <laughs> Did you say that? CBD, did. though, You didn't man. say, oh, no. yeah, I agree, babe. No, I agree, babe. No, I said, I agree, babe, but my back still hurts. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. And what'd she say? Uh, she's like, I'll rub it with CBD. <laughs> so it ended up working out okay, but uh, I still hurt. That's good. <laughs> Wor- some words of affirmation. Yeah. There. Yeah. I like that. Got a little bit of sunburn. You guys are growing. After seven years, I think we're finally, <laughs> we're finally we're there? starting to make some headway here. We well, got counseling. You got good teamwork was, going on, words it, of affirmation. It was a weekend of You that. apologizing, not let it ruining the whole day. I did. Just went and got your energy drink, came back, said, yeah, I was a little harsh. Yeah. That's, and that's, there wasn't any weird vibes for the rest right. of the day that we carried into Get it my out mom's the way. house. Or we got it out the way. You know that's what I mean? Gross. We got some shit done. And the night previous to that, 
went to a great restaurant called that, Courier. That's growth. Got some sick ass food, uh, dude. We had some Brussels sprouts. Not to get too bad into it, but uh, they were like they were like buffalo, buffalo Brussels sprouts. So they were like buffalo seasoned sprouts. in buffalo sauce. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, to die for. But Where anyways, at? Uh, a place called Courier downtown. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Really, really good food, man. So, uh, yeah, it was the weekend of uh, filling up love tanks, domestic duties, and uh, hanging with the fam. It's funny. We got in a uh, heated debate, me and my lady, over the word lackadaisical or laxadaisical, as most yeah. of us say. It. Laxadaisical is what I know. That's what I know as well. Okay. So, do we not know something? Curious. You guys out there. Yeah. I mean, I've always said it, I've always heard it as lackadaisical. Right. Okay. She comes over. We hear, uh, we're listening, we're, we're driving. Home from our Easter festivities, we hear on the radio, so we hear this guy say lackadaisical on this show we're listening to on Sirius, and uh, she's like, oh, he, you know, she kind of laughs, and he's like, she's like, saying it wrong. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's how I've always said it. It's right. lackadaisical. That's, that's what the term is. Sure. She's like, no, it's lackadaisical. I'm like, babe, I'm like, that's really unfortunate that you think that. You yeah. thought that your whole life I said that. I'm like, so unfortunate. <laughs> I'm like, that's so unfortunate, babe. Yeah. I'm sorry. Look it up real quick because I'm driving. I'm yeah. like, look it up. Let's figure this out. She looks it up. She does the Google pronunciation. Lackadaisical. Lackadaisical. Clicks like three times. And I'm like in disbelief. I'm like, no. What are you? That's wrong. Like Google's broken. Yeah. I'm like, this is, what are you talking about? Yeah. There's no are you, way. Are you using an Android, babe? Yeah. Exactly. Dude, <laughs> I seriously was thinking like, there, you know when you're, when you know so, you're so, you just know you're right. Yeah. You know you're right. There's no way that I've heard this said a hundred times in my life by other people and all those people are wrong. I'm wrong and all those people are wrong because we've all been saying lackadaisical. There's no way. Not a chance. So she looks it up. She's like, yep, sure enough. And I'm like, tell me how. And so I'm getting mad now. Yeah. I'm not getting mad. I'm sorry. I'm getting frustrated. I'm what? getting I'm annoyed because I'm like, what are you, how? What, what are your sources? And Where so are she's getting annoyed back. So we're both kind of getting annoyed. Yeah. Uh, long story short, she looks it up and basically what we've done in society um, is we have taken the term lax. Mm -hmm. You know, you say, uh, oh yeah, you know, he's a good dad. He's really lax with the kids. Mm -hmm. He's he's pretty easy going on yeah. him. He's not free on top of him. He's not hounding him all the time. Same thing with a coach. Oh, that's, that, I like that coach. I like that teacher. She's really lax. You know, she's not grilling you with the homework, with the pop quizzes, yeah. all that stuff. She's lax. You know what I mean? We've taken that as society. We've turned the word lax and and combined it with lackadaisical and we've turned the word lackadaisical into lackadaisical hmm. societally we've done that and so that's why i've only heard it that way i don't know who the hell she's talking to to not hear it that way i don't know what's going on where she went to school or obviously it's correct she went private school yes that's private why school. right yeah so i'm public, I'm getting, public school sucks public school sucks we already know we're yeah. getting hearsay yeah we're not getting the right shit yeah so she might as well has, be taught by the kardashians right mm, it's fine right I've never used this uh, word writing papers. I've never, obviously I would know it if I had. Sure. I've just used it in convo here and there. I've probably yeah. used it a total of five times in my life. It's not a, a big time word in my vocabulary, but I've heard it and I've heard other people say it. So in my mind, I'm like, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I keep telling myself I'm right. There's no way I can be wrong. Hmm. It's just not possible. It is possible. You're an idiot and you're wrong. So then I'm even more frustrated. So she's like, call your aunt. She's smart. She's a teacher. I call my aunt. She says the same thing I do lackadaisical she's i'm like i guess she's not that smart babe i don't know <laughs> i don't know you know i mean we're on the phone with my aunt yeah we're going back and forth then my aunt is on the internet reading me the definition back and she's like yeah you're saying it wrong and i go what do you mean you we we are saying it wrong yeah don't pinpoint me and she's like no no i'm saying it right i'm like no you're not you're saying it right right now you're not yeah. you weren't saying it right before and she didn't understand i was on speakerphone or we were on the phone with the car me and uh, my lady are arguing me and her are arguing she's not getting what i'm trying to tell her i'm like eh, i gotta go we're getting hungry i gotta hang up the phone Amper, i love you i love you bye I, I i had to get off the phone i'm getting so frustrated I, I wanted to jump out the car i wanted to jump out the car and leave the phone in the car and leave my lady in the car and get out the car i wanted to while i was moving yeah i was so frustrated i was so and you know how i am it's just like at Dave and Buster's. I was getting my ass kicked in Connect Four. Oh, I was getting I was getting frustrated as a mug yesterday. You know, it's just it, what it is. I'm a competitive guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I was in Vegas when I was in Vegas and I lost that parlay. And my friends are like, my my friends won and they're trying to hug me and they're like, yeah. oh, when I lost on Purdue. Yeah. Vitzer Vitzer knows me better than anybody. My homie Vitzer and he hits me up and he's like, 
Oh, I love that. That's that TTF winning spirit. I know. Yeah. Just like because totally. he knows me. He knows I have no. I have no winning spirit. Yeah. I have no good losing. I have no morals. Good morals when I lose. I'm pissed off. I'm annoyed. I'm frustrated. I probably don't think I should have lost, even though I probably got my <laughs> ass handed to me, and it was well deserved that I lost. But it's just in the moment. I'm not a good loser. I am one of the worst losers, dude. I don't know if that comes from the only child kind of thing. Like I have no idea what it comes from, but I just cannot stand losing. Yeah. And so. uh that really bothers me. She was right, but we had the same thing. Disagreement. We didn't let it ruin our night. We went and got fish tacos, had a great night. It was awesome. Watched the game. It yep. was awesome, you know? But in the moment, we were both heated. Sure. We were both annoyed. It took us a second to like really step back and be... Because I was getting really annoyed and frustrated, which was making her annoyed and frustrated. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like stemming from me and getting pissed off. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's interesting. We both had a similar way, a similar... Um, conversation or a similar thing happened to where things just could have gone really bad and we like reined them in hmm. we both reined them in i feel like this is the first weekend ever it's a hard thing we to both do. reined them in yeah and we both ended up it ended up being great yeah as to where normally one of us is like ah oh, yeah i messed up i could yeah. I, I did I'm this, in the I this. I yeah i'm in the doghouse like we were both it could have been in the doghouse but we both uh were able to kind of recognize that and be like all right you're right i'm sorry i messed up but also credit to the ladies for being like hey it's all good yeah and not dragging it out either sure you know what i mean just as good on them yeah to be like oh it's our it's all good I oh, i'm gonna make him yeah. pay right this yeah it was it. none of that stuff yeah. going on it was it was awesome on both ends so i i just want to everybody yeah. an applause so everybody an applause so another thing to uh add to this is i guess we leave the lax to the stool softeners yes okay. isn't that weird that is weird i think uh, hopefully uh <laughs> I hope I just learned you guys something. You guys were on the same page I am, and you all thought it was lackadaisical as well for the yeah. listeners. Because, I mean, I feel like that's everybody. And it was so mind-blowing to me that she had never heard anyone say that. Wow. And that's why we were so on the opposite sides of the fence, because it's like, well, you've never heard anyone say that. I've never heard anyone say that. And we yeah. were just both so blown away yeah. that I've never heard lackadaisical, and she's never heard lackadaisical. We were just both like, where did you come from? Yeah. Are you an alien? What are Who you are talking you? about? This is common. <laughs> like, And we were just both like, so what? This is commonplace. Call your mom. She's like, ask Dallas. Call your aunt. I was like, call your mom. Let's. I'm a, we're going back and forth. It's like wow. talking to people we could call to like, what? Let's Verify figure this it. out. How do we get in? Like. It was such a funny thing, dude. Such a funny thing. But overall, man, really, really good weekend. We we're gonna try to uh, try to hit up some scooters yesterday, but it started raining and stuff. I was yeah, like, that's totally. the last thing I need. My girl ain't uh, super athlete anyway. She'll be sliding around a turn, fall, and bonk her head on the concrete or something. So we don't we don't need any of that. Yeah, weather turned real shitty real quick. Yeah, it was that came in that yeah. front, and of course we were done raking, so that couldn't have done it earlier right. to save my back. Right. So you know we maximized our time. Of course, Robin trying to trying to put in thirteen thousand things in one day. No we doubt. Done. No doubt. We got it done. So overall, over the weekend, uh, did you cop anything? Any shoes? Anything else? Did you do anything like that? Any cops? Cop and shoes, I did not. Somebody, however, did. So I did try for the walk the dogs. Yeah. Um, and of course, took the L on sneakers app and also took it uh, took the L on a local skate shop. I had a guy kind of trying to look out for me, but they had a one pair minimum. Right. They couldn't walk back through the line. Uh, 303 Boards um, had the had the shoes uh, here locally. But uh, somebody hit me up on social. I can't remember, uh, remember his name, but... Uh, uh, he said he might actually get rid of his pair and he'd let me know. So I might have a pair waiting for me, but uh, Sneaker Con is this weekend. Yeah, I was saying we should just jump into so, sneakers and fashion and then we can kind of hit on uh, the NFL draft stuff and then the yeah. uh, maybe some playoff stuff. You want to talk that way, YouTube comments. You bet. Uh, we'll kind of do that. So, um, sorry, continue along. What were you saying? Sneaker so, Con yeah, this so weekend. Sneaker Con this weekend, man, yep. April 27th. Be there or be square. We'll have a booth. We'll be posted the, up. Do you have the Supreme chair, though? I don't have the Supreme chair. I do have it ordered, Dallas. and it's on its way, Dallas. but it won't be here. Wow. Dallas. It won't be here in time. Wow. You should have. So it wow. is on. So wow. it, uh, it'll be, it'll arrive at StockX, it looks like, uh, either tomorrow or Wednesday. So I, we won't have it. I'll, I think happened, I'll have man? it. Fr- so you're on a folding chair. Yeah. So what happens? <laughs> you're on a folder. I'm on a folder. Damn, dog. Actually, you know what? It might be here. By then, but it it should be it should arrive at StockX either tomorrow or Wednesday. Here's what we'll do. So we'll see. I'll be in the Supreme Director's chair, my black one. Yep. I'm gonna give you my wrestling. I think it's my uh, my SummerSlam. Oh, the, the pay per view chair. Hell yeah! I got brought back from SummerSlam. You can sit on that from Arizona. So we'll yeah. still be we'll still be we'll out. Still there. be Gooch. Yeah. What is JJ gonna sit on? Oh yeah. I'm gonna be running the camera. Yeah, he's gonna be running the what camera. Supposed to be about? running around. He's gonna be wrangling guests. Like so we got a. There's a bunch of people at SneakerCon. We're gonna try to get as many interviews for you guys as we can. Yeah. I saw Slobby Robbie's coming through. Mm-hmm. Um, two Jays. Two Jays will be there. 
I don't think Ted's going to be there. I don't Ted think doesn't mess with those Con. Goals, so yeah. anymore. Can you guys please rip mm-hmm. apart the Denver sneak or er, hype Denver hype beast? Well, oh the oh the kid that was on Kaisa's channel. Yes. I don't know if I need to rip him apart. Why do we need to rip him apart, JJ? I don't know. It's hard to rip that guy apart, man. He's got five red Octobers. Right. Well, yeah. What, <laughs> what are you going to tell? He's doing more, something right. More of like we need to find out how the hell he even got those. He says he's he, working jobs. Guy. Yeah, he's painter. He's a painter. Okay, let's be honest with ourselves here. Hey, it could be possible if he's if he's painting. That's not bad money. Yeah, you're yeah. a painter, and then you're also you don't have any expenses. You don't have any bills. You're living in your parents' crib. You know what I mean? It's possible. I think it's possible. I just can't see a lot of birthday money. Maybe he's got a lot of grandma. Hey, I five times. JJ, bro. I think you need to wrangle him in. We'll I don't think he dropped six grand five times. He's probably had him for a little while. Yeah, true. He probably got him at their three grand. You know what I mean? Uh, oh yeah. That's cut in half of the six God grand forbid. six times you just talked about. God see? forbid he got maybe one one shoe at retail. Who knows? You're looking at it through the through the negative light. Yeah, true. This is Denver's biggest hype beast. We got over here hey, shitting on him. We got to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. We'll see what's up. Okay. If we could have him, we'll talk to him. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm That'd down to talk. Any of those fools, Kais comes through anyone. Like, yeah. I'm down to sit down and interview him. I've I have a ton of questions. I have enough shit to ask anyone for you, you know as long as they want to sit there. So I'm down to do that. I think it should be fun, man. Hopefully we can get some good interviews for you guys and throw that together as a uh, episode of the podcast. I don't know if it'll be accompanied by video or if it'll just be audio. Yeah, I, I assume video will be pretty easy because we can just set up GoPros, start them and stop them. We'll only talk to each person for 10 to 20 minutes. It'll be a kind of a quick, it'll be quick little interviews. Quick with each hitters, person. Yeah. sir. Just kind of like Super Bowl radio row. You know, they have someone come up, they're promoting something, they get them on, they talk to them, they get them off, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be one of those kind of uh, situations. Um, continuing along with sneakers, the do you want to look at sneakers first? Do you want to get into... Uh, yeah, let's look, let's look at these because uh, uh, they're they're not late. <laughs> they're right. still not released yet, but uh, um, I got them last cast on that day, so I didn't have them for last cast. But uh, I was able to get the uh, the bread four, the bread cement fours uh, on the shock drop. Oh, okay. And uh, you know the one that I hit you up on, you were busy. We've we, you know we've covered that, but I was able to get them, and it's crazy. So we'll look at mine, my, uh, my pair here, and see what you guys think because there's a lot of negative uh, reviews on like I've social media that. timelines. I've seen you know, that. just stating uh, paint issues, scratches, um, that kind of stuff. Which uh, you know, Jordan Brand is ha- and has been guilty of that. We look at the tours, right? Those were god awful. Those Jordan ones. Um, so you know, they've they've had some quality control issues, and I think as time evolves, I think you're seeing that more and more. But uh, but again, we can't be living in the past. We got to live in the present and in the future here. So let me get those uh, let me get those shoes. Here. I actually have uh, my pair on the way. I did not get lucky on the uh, sneakers app on the shock drop. Um, actually, the homie Brian the Philly plug looked out for me. I feel bad that he's. Uh, I just cracked him for twenty on the Rockies bet, and after he right. just looked out, after he just yeah. looked out for me over here on sneaks. But I mean, it is what it is. What happens when you rep the Phillies? No, <laughs> it's true. I'm just, I'm just playing. Uh, so the he sent my pair, and he sent him two day. Shout out to my guy, so I can get them quickly. So they, actually, they should actually be here today. They might arrive during the cast. So I told Joey up in nope. the front. I was like, "Yo, come bring these through if they come in, because I want to look at uh, my quality." I'm very curious. Now, I've been told that he, Brian's like, dude, I already inspected them. They're A1, like mint condition, fire quality. So I'm curious to see, for number one, if that's true, and number two, what yours look like. Right. I don't doubt Brian knows what the hell he's talking about. If he says they're mint, I you know, agree with sure. It's probably mint. But uh, what are yours looking like? You got them directly from sneakers. I did, yeah. I got them directly on the sneakers. Yeah, that's zip. a scary thing about buying these on resale, too. If you pay resale on these, you have no idea what you're going to get from StockX or GOAT or whatever. Damn. Yeah, so here we go, man. The Bread Force, uh, a.k.a. the Cement 4. Um, what I would say about these uh, initial looks, I think the quality in mine is really, really good. So the black just above the uh, midsole, uh, they're saying there's a lot of paint uh, issues with those on the timeline. Um, the suede or nubuck it has been pretty good uh, across the board, but a lot of people are not liking the Nike Air on the back. They're saying it's off to the side just a slight bit, like it's not centered. Yeah. So that is one of the biggest bitches. But, I mean, that's just the way the shoe is. It's not like, hey, this pair is defective and this pair is not. They're not centered, the Nike Air, on on, right. the, on this pair. Um, but uh, that being said, what I'll say about this shoe. So I did try one of them on because uh, I had to see the fit. But I, I do need to sell this shoe, so be careful with it. Uh Ten and a half. So my true to size is always ten, and it can be ten and a half sometimes. But I'm going to go nine times out of ten. I'm going to go size ten as my true to size. That being said, the 2012 pair of these, uh, the left shoe, fit different than the right shoe. So that 
what I mean by that, there was something in my left shoe that just didn't fit right on the 2012 pair. So I had to go up to the 10 and a half to make that work. So there was like something digging in. So I don't know if that was a defect pair on mine, but, uh, you know, what I heard was everybody that had the 2012 pair, there was a defect in one of the shoes and it just made it fit differently. So I went up a half size in these thinking I'd be okay. Um, I'm swimming. I need my true to size. I definitely need to go true to size on these bread fours. So if you haven't bought them yet, because the global release is May 4th, may the 4th be with you. Um, definitely, definitely 110%. Yeah, why did they drop these on Star Wars Day? I don't know. Is definitely 110% though. Go true to size. No doubt. So the, no, no, no. Oh, true to size. True yeah, because you went. I went up a half. Yeah, that's which is weird to me. I don't know why you'd get a 10 and a half. Because the 2012 pair It's just to. that 12, 2012. Yeah. Because even a lot of people were telling me, like even Kyle Lee hit me. I was like, "Yo, I got eleven and a half. You want it?" I was like, "I, I need. A, I'm a hard 12. He's yeah. like, fours run big. Are you sure?" I was like, "Nah, not mine, dude. I have a, I have a pair of fours on today, and they're yeah. just they're perfect in a twelve. Fours. I could never go well. to eleven and a half. It'd yeah. be, but okay, that makes sense. So in the twenty twelve pair, yeah, that's the twenty twelve. Yeah, the, it was my left shoe. Some people said it was their right shoe, but most, uh, most people were saying. You know, one of the shoes out of the two were digging, so they went up a half size to fix that. I did the same thing, had great success. Yeah, the uh, I'm not like you where this is like my favorite Jordan of all time, but yep. um, the thing that I don't like or the, the few things I don't like, now you have a good pair as far as what the pair is. Quality control, yes. I don't think the quality of the materials on the pair overall is that good. Yeah. I think, I just think it could have been better. I feel like for some reason, something to do with the way this suede and the toe box is, it's not like... It's not like uh, it's just very basic new buck. Yeah, it's just like it's almost like the Jordan Infrared Six. It's just a very mm -hmm. basic new buck. It's not anything overly nice. It's not anything, and I feel like it would. There's going to be some creasing. There's, there's going to be a be, lot of creasing. You know, there's going to be some of that. The netting here, you can tell. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, man. I'm interested to see how these are going to hold up. Do you notice how wrinkly the Nike Air is already on there? When you look inside the shoe, dude, it looks like. You wear those one time, that's going to be gone. Oh yeah, that for Nike sure. Air is looks like it's going to disappear. It's going to rub rip, off like dude. super quick. You you do you do ten steps around the mall and that thing's toast, <laughs> right? For sure. I just I don't know. I'm looking forward to getting my pair. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It's I'm going to be interested to see how they hold up. Yeah. You know, I'm so glad they brought this old hang tag back because right. remember the previous models <clears throat> they had like that thicker. Yeah, it almost yeah. looks like a. Um, almost like a picture frame, like a small yeah, yeah. picture frame of the jump man, and it just yellowed so bad. Yep. Where this is more of the original, so I'm glad they brought that back. I love Nike Air on that ass, uh, the insole Nike Air, love it. They actually brought these wings. I think they call these wings uh, down here that actually hold the laces in. They brought back the original look of those as well, um, in terms of how they're designed, more like the seashell look is what they call that. Um, huh. So they brought that back, which is good. Some of the netting resembles more of the OG pair, um, you know, where it's like looser. But uh, And these are less ashy. The 2012 pair were super ashy. That was the, my concern the on these, if yeah. they're going to, when they wear in, are they just going to become ashy? They tough? might, but out of the box, the 2012 pairs were more ashy. So gotcha. I like that this is more of the OG. So for from those aspects, those three. Um, the re the what I like in the material on these two is like the metallic the black metallic fives mm -hmm. very similar dude they yeah. they end up they end up super super ashy they end up creased and they just I I have my pair still they just don't look great you know what I mean like right. the black metallic fives it's the same kind of thing I just after you wear them in a uh, for a certain amount of time they're just not going to look that good anymore and I th I just think that's going to be the exact same reaction on that shoe yeah. And so that's some of the, re I mean, that's some of the reason where I'm not, uh, oh, here you go. I'm not like you where it's like, it's the greatest shoe ever, but obviously we all have different reasons and different shoes that got us in the game. Mm -hmm. It's you're not, uh, that's not your favorite shoe based off the quality. Right. You know what I For mean? For sure. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the nostalgia of, of him wearing these with that winning shot against the Cavaliers. Right. That's, right. I mean, it's, it's that memory. Right. No doubt. So yeah, Brett Fours, man. Are you guys going for these? Are you guys uh, because they are going to be so widely released? As we know, with a lot of the OG colorways lately, Jordan Brand's been doing that with the Concord super wide release, infrared sixes super wide. These going to be right. wide. You know, well, all the stuff that's been. Go ahead. Speaking of fours, isn't this the year of the four or the anniversary? Of the that's Jordan what we're four? hearing. There's yeah. a lot of fours this year. Yeah, a lot of fours. Yeah. I don't know if it's the. Seems year like of the it seems like it's whatever, the. But. 
Seems like it's the year of the the ones as well. <laughs> Dude, every year <laughs> Dude, is the year of the ones. My every lord. year of the ones, boy. They just be pumping those out, man. So many. Those crimsons are dog poo poo, man. I've been so seeing so many people putting in those great green laces. Yeah. Oh, dude, they look even worse. Why well, know why? Why this, are people doing that? I don't know. This I think the Seth Fowler, your boy, he put them in, and they look. Why does he have that shoe? He likes the shoe. Uh, he loves Jordan ones. It's but like he, kale and spam. Dog. Yeah. Kale Crazy. And spam. He said he likes the shoe. I, which I'm surprised by, because Fowler's usually kind of like me, you know, really about the materials and stuff, and uh, those are those are not good. Did you see? Uh, did you see him in Teddy's new vlog? Or yeah, shopping, couple, shopping in Japan. Yeah. yeah. So what was he doing over there? He was just over there because he was going to the Philippines yeah, to he, interview the big boy Chang. Yeah. So he was going to the Philippines for <clears throat> the Manila Sneaker Festival that they were having oh, gotcha. up there. They actually flew him out there. Oh. Um, so the people who run the Manila Sneaker Festival, whatever Dude, it's called. Dude, he's cracking right now. He's up, He's almost at a half a million. Dude, he just hit over. Did he just hit over 400? He's or over 300? 400. God dang. He's over 400. Good for him, man. I think it's 409 or something. He's putting in the work, and yeah, he's doing the, you know, he's getting all the shoes. His most recent uh, review was over the, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, were you a big fan of the Air Raid Nike back in the day? Not really. With the straps? Not a huge. I loved straps, dude. I was the strap guy. I loved the 8s. <laughs> I loved the Jordan 8s, man, because of the straps, really? right? Wow. You know, back in the day, and that yeah, big yeah. furry, fuzzy tongue. But again, that was just kind of memories uh, for me. But uh, he just did a review over the uh, Air Raid, Fear of Gods. Yeah. Dude, that shoe drops uh, the, the same day as Sneaker Con, so this Saturday, the 27th. Did you see some people making them into cleats and shit, too? I did. Yeah. Dude, I did. they're making cleats out of everything Everything. Nowadays. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that shoe, man. I, I really, really want that shoe. So, End Clothing out of uh, the UK just did a drawing. So, I'm in I'm in that drawing. So, yeah, I'm going to get that shoe hopefully at retail. Um, I think that shoe is going to be a lot easier to style than the original uh, Fear of God yeah. um, that they just came out with because it's not as high. It's more of a mid, right? Um, I just think it'd probably be easier to style for myself. Plus, I love the Air Raid from back in the day. So, mm -hmm. looking forward to that shoe, man. I like the high better. Do you? Yeah, I, th I, I don't know. I'm just... You're a high guy. Plus the straps, yeah, just not a... It's like unnecessary seat belts on the shoe. That's yeah. what it looks like to me. Yeah, really? Just, Fair enough. It just looks unnecessary. Like, I don't know. It just looks a little little silly. It's not to say that I don't wear any shoes with unnecessary stuff, because I do. Right. But I don't know. That's just how the vibe it gives me. I'm not a huge, huge fan of it, but... Right. Um, continue along. Did you see... <laughs> I, we got to put this up on our story. Uh, once we hear back from Jr. Yeah, the the Aquafresh uh, T-shirt. Yeah, Aquamax. Yeah, was that what it was called? You bet, Aquamax. Do you have his social media? The homie Trevor came through, and uh, he hit us with a dope um, rendering of he he designed this black T-shirt with Dow. It's got an Aquafresh logo on it. it says Aquamax. And then it's got most underrated podcasts on the back. It says Denver, Colorado, Thomas the Franchise, Dow Palantonio, and JJ, JJ Stringstein. Super sick. Um, dude, it's so funny because, like, we should, I was thinking we should get some of these to print up for SneakerCon, but yeah. who's, who else has the Aquafresh Air Max? <laughs> I know, right? Who else bought those? Uh, Soul. Well, now now I'm hearing everybody on our social media that I said that and I posted that. They're like, oh, man, now I can't get those shoes because it reminds you of Aquafresh. Gotcha. But it was the gentleman by the name of, uh, I'm going to say... His Tro name's Trevor, but yeah. what's his social? But he goes by Trohi Studios. That's T-R-O-H-I uh, Studios. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you can follow him there. So, yeah, he did a dope rendering for us and then has most underrated podcasts, has our little... Um, you know, socials on the bottom of that. Yeah, man. So it's great, man, that people are kind of looking out for us, sharing things with us and, and just being a part of the cast, dude. I'm happy Super that, dope. uh, I'm really happy that this is coming through and you're wearing, you have to wear this for sneaker con. Now you backed yourself into a corner. You backed my, you How? backed me into a corner. How did I back you? Into you a corner? You're the one that gave this idea of me putting this, uh, this fit together. I remember us talking about, <laughs> yeah, how I remember it is we were talking about the shoe and you said, and I was talking about the creases in the shoe and you said, I'll let you know it's sneaker con because I was like I can't wait. Actually, I have the clip. Let me uh, let me play this here. Do you have the clip? Dal Palantonio. Here we go. I can't wait till you wear these for a day. The first day <laughs> after you wear these for a full day, yeah. call me and let me know how your toes are feeling. I'm gonna wear them to sneaker con all day. Oh, and perfect. I'm gonna for be the, I'm gonna be the anti hype beast because there's no hype on these. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll wear these. I'm not gonna do wear the Jordan One Please Unions. Do, I'm not gonna wear them. You got to buy an Aqua Fresh shirt. Okay, we got to get it. a shirt with okay. like just an Aqua Fresh it. on it, dude. And that's how you wear the sneaker. Dude, <laughs> I'm ordering that oh. and the Supreme Red Chair. Boom. Dang, getting called out. What? Wow. We have the audio. <laughs> you. <laughs> what do you? What do you do there? 
What do you do? I take the L. What I do you do? The way That's what you got to do, right? So take I guess I inspired this. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Okay. I'm trying to call and me. Then trying you, to pull me into this. And then you took it uh, took it a step further and saying, well, cool. If you're going to do that, we need to get you an We got to get you the shirt. We got to get you the shirt. But you said, I'm wearing these to sneaker con. I'll let you know how my feet feel after sneaker con. Wow. So you pulled yourself into the aqua fresh joints. I think I was working too much at my other job. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's going on here. What would you wear if you're not wearing the Aqua Fresh? What would I wear? Something, I still don't know what I'm going to wear. Something comfy, man. But uh, so obviously, Boost comes to mind. But um, you know, I've got three or four pairs of 4D. I don't know, man. I, Go the 4D I'm, route, man. I'm wearing the Aqua Fresh. Yeah, I, you're good. I said I have to. Oh, your feet are going to be awesome. I know. Your feet are going to be loving you well, Saturday night. <laughs> hopefully, we'll be sitting down doing a lot of interviews. You thought <laughs> your back was back. Uh, you thought your back was bad now. Yeah, that's true. Mm, well, actually, yeah. I don't know. He'll be doing some sitting on the SummerSlam chair. Yeah, after I'm gonna take- be I'm gonna be minty fresh with my Aqua Fresh shoes. Exactly, it's gonna be sick. Um, also, I want to make sure we announce the uh, winners of SneakerCon tickets. We uh, we had two winners there. Gave away okay. some tickets. Did they already come pick their tickets up, JJ? No, we're gonna email them to them. Dope. So, so you already notified them. Everything's yeah, good. Everything's we put it out good. on our social. Yeah. So the we homie YBN Tabasco, he's the winner there, and then uh, Mar Rivera Six is the other winner. So shout out to YBN Tabasco, Mar Rivera 6. You guys are the winners of the Sneaker Con uh, tickets. We will see you this weekend. Mm-hmm. Come stop by, say what's up to the kids, shake some hands, kiss some babies, all that <laughs> good stuff. It should be fun, dude. I'm excited for the weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, man. I'm, dude, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Uh, real quick, a uh, little side note. Huh? Is your old lady coming through? I don't know. I don't know what to tell Robin either. I'm like, we might have some passes. We probably don't. You might be waiting in line for hours. I don't really know what this looks like quite yet. Maybe closer to the event, I'll let you know. Because, you know, she wants to come by and say hi. She wants to support. Maybe they should coordinate and yeah. then I don't really come know what to tell her, though. Yeah. So I, I would what... honestly recommend not going directly when the doors open because sure. there will be a line out the freaking door. But yeah. I would say probably halfway through the day, there's no line, little to no line. Think right. we could sneak them in to sneaker con? I don't probably. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Nice enthusiasm. Let, okay. I don't, I don't know. Probably. All God, right. JJ. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. What? Glad you woke up today. <laughs> what are you saying? Awesome. <sighs> Las, okay, the Las Vegas one, really, no one, after everyone was really in, no one was checking the doors, so I wouldn't be surprised, but this hmm. is like a new thing in Denver, so we'll have to see, I guess. Robin's cool with paying the price. I just thought, you know, if we could get her in, I don't know, man. I just, I didn't want her to have to pay if she didn't have to. I have no idea. I don't know what the situation is. We have not even had the convo. Hasn't even come up. Hasn't even been asked now. Nope. Hasn't even been asked. Haven't had the convo. She may have some of her own stuff going on. I don't know, but I'll, I'll let her know to coordinate with Robin. Tell her to hit her up. Because that'll work out. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work out. So uh, um, what about the uh, the Yeezy 700 analogs that look just like the salt? You going for them this no. weekend? No. <laughs> you know I'm out on Same. every 700 except the inertia. Yeah, those inertias are fire. That's it. I still wrote. You know what? If if I was if I wasn't wearing my Aquafresh shoes, I would wear the inertias. Really? Sneaker con. Yeah. Thought about it. Because I'm warm yet. Oh, gotcha. I'd like to break those in for sneaker con, but instead, tell me about this. I'm, okay. I think our boy uh, Philly the Plug, Philly Manor, whatever he goes by. Philly the Plug. Philly the Plug. Philly Manor? Philly, or uh, Philly Mayor? Is... Philly Mayor. I think that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Philly Manor. I Philly like Manor. That. Philly Manor. That's what it was. Uh, what about oh, these shit, Adidas Ultra style. Boost SNL in the, in the whites? I know you're not a big fan of navy or any of that color of blue. No, I, no I, royal, I, royal. Royal. Yeah. I love navy. I hate royal. That's right. Yeah, I don't like those. You're not about those lines? Nah. I don't like the royal blue, and I don't like the gray suede around the toe box. Those are New Balance times two. Yep. Those, oh, are, those are the newbies, for sure. I love those. Which is fine. Like People are hating on me because I don't like them. I just don't like them, guys. I don't know. What to tell you? I'm I looking get forward everyone's to those. Like, You're comparing them to New Balance, and they, there's nothing that's comfortable as boot. I go, I got it, guys. I understand. I'm saying they yeah. just look like a New Balance shoe. They I know they're not Boost. Vibes. I know it's not the same comfort. I know yeah. nothing is nothing New Balance will ever come close to an Ultra. But I get it. Yeah, I'm with you guys. I get it. A lot of these, a lot of these big uh, shoe people that I follow, uh, you know, on, on the socials. Dude, a lot of them are hyping up these new New Balances that are coming yeah, out. Yeah, cuz they're getting sponsorships. Like we talked about that comment. Is that what it is? Yes. Cuz I thought originally they're getting bored, but yeah, you're probably right. Sponsorships. No, they're getting paid by Champs or whoever else to push the sneaker. Pump these out. It was like what Teddy Sweet. talked about on uh, the podcast with Kais and also when he was in here. Right. They sent him the Night Jogger. They sent him uh the damn Derupt or whatever some of those sneakers and he was just yeah. like the EQTs without the boost. Without the boost. He's mm-hmm. like, "Doesn't have boost." Like 
Can't or I just don't fuck with it. Like right. I don't rock with it. And it's the same situation. And that's what really I think started their relationship in a bad way. That's mm-hmm. what really moved things, not necessarily in a bad way, but that's what moved things into like, ah, oh, okay, this guy's not really, he doesn't really play ball. Right. That's so to speak. You know, he's not really on board with just taking a check and pushing out whatever not to say that they were cutting him a check maybe he would be more on board if they were cutting him a check but that's kind of the first initial like are you in or you're not it's kind of like the initiation thing or if we send you these four pairs are you going to show all four pairs on the channel if he does show all four pairs then they know that they have a reliable influencer to get the message out it's going to say things in the way they want to say things regardless of what he believes and that's not ted Right. He's not going to do that. Never. It's kind of similar to us. Like I'll promote shit that I believe in, that I use, products I enjoy, whatever, but I'm not going to be out here hawking some shit that I don't even use or know about or want to use or have no interest in. That's pointless. Yeah. At that point, you, uh, what are you working for yourself for? You may just sign, might as well just sign a bunch of brand endorsement deals and just be getting checks to endorse a bunch of shit because you're getting checks. Yeah. Why even create your own content or be a creator or have your own voice? It doesn't yeah. matter. At that point, it's kind of funny how Hulu's literally doing that. There's like their marketing. Yeah. Well, that's my problem. That's out. that's why it's so hard for me to rock consistently with a guy like Tony D. Two Wild or Kais or even Seth Fowler or any of them because I know they just lie about it. They're not necessarily they lie, but they're okay pushing products for a check, and but they still want to tell you their opinion. And they still mm-hmm. want to give you your opinion. Well, at the end of the day, how, how can I value that opinion now, dog? Right. How can I take your opinion at face value? How can I really believe what you're saying? Because you haven't been 100% Fully, authentic with yeah. me in the past. Ted mm-hmm. has. Ted's always been 100% authentic. Yeah. So I can take everything that man says to the bank. These cats, I can't. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah. just is what it is. Yeah. You do certain videos because... You're hawking a product. You do certain videos because you want to give your opinion. You do certain videos because you really like something. You, you do just, certain videos because you want the clout. Right. It's there, a bunch of different things. There's no consistency. Right. Some of the shit's hype. Some of it's pushed because it's promoted and you're paid. Some of it's you really like it. It's all different. And it's all that's why it's like I can't rock with 100% of the content. Some shit I think is cool. Mm-hmm. I don't think the whole channel is cool on right. any of them. I right. just don't rock that way. But I, I love what, you know, I love what Ted does because it's all authentic. There's no... He just does what he, he marches to the beat of his own drum. And if totally. you don't like it, go find a new drum. That's, totally. You know, that's what it is. These guys, if you don't like it, they're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Why don't you like it? Let me yeah. let me do some stuff you like then. You know, like I just, that's not how I rock. It's not what we do on this show either. Sure. You know what I mean? People come in here and have constructive criticism and we're more than likely to listen and uh, have a convo with people, but we're also not going to just change shit or do what people want because they want us to do it or they don't like us doing a certain thing a certain way. It is what it is, you know? Right. A lot of people complained about a two and a half hour podcast. What are we still doing? Two and a half hour podcast. Right. Anyways, moving <laughs> on. For sure. For sure. Uh, so that's really all I got for uh, for shoes. Um, obviously, the the Donald Glover uh, collab is coming out. I believe the twenty sixth. That is the the one that they were giving away, air dropping. Yeah, you yeah. Know, to be able to give that away at yep. Coachella. Um, not interested in that shoe. If we I, we were going to hit on that last show. We didn't even talk about that. So run that down really quick. How did that work? Gotcha. At yeah. Coachella. So at we week, didn't even get to it. I'm sorry. Yeah. So at week one, um, if you had your air uh, airdrop on, and I think it was during Donald Glover's set. Yeah. I can't remember exactly. Um, but if you had your airdrop on and it was to everyone versus just private or just to your friends or whatever, um, they were randomly airdropping. Do you want this shoe? And you could obviously accept it or not, mm-hmm. and then go pick it up at the local stand. So that was kind of cool. Again, cool marketing. You know, as 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 Childish Gambino is playing there. I love it. I think Adidas was doing things right. And I think that is a cool way to uh, get people to wear their shoes versus influencers. Um, kind of like a gorilla drop or gorilla warfare, yeah. whatever it is, however yeah, you yeah. want to describe that. Um, so I, I think that's pretty cool. But the shoe itself, the canvassy with the big, you know, almost like a van sole, like just, you know, big, big sole, no gum. Um, dude, it's a God awful shoe. Like, I think it's a great summer shoe and all those people that went to Coachella, bless their hearts. The, you know, <laughs> it's just not a shoe that I would wear, dude. I think it's just dog, dog shit, ugly. Yeah. Know? I would never, it I is, would never wear this. It shoe. is the worst. looks worn, looks torn, looks yeah. everything. It looks, why would, yeah. Yeah. I think you could just look at that and know that neither of us would associate. Dude, it doesn't even that. look like an Adidas. You know what it looks like to me? First look. Looks like one of those Keds. Remember Keds? Yes. That's what it looks I'd like to me. I'd say Keds or a Keds Chuck yeah. mix. Yeah. 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 Something like that. I mean, it doesn't even Chuck. look as cool as like a Vans, like no. a pair of Vans. It just looks st- stupid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know if my mom would wear something like that. St- 
stupid. By the way, <laughs> my mom, dude, yesterday had a sick ass pair of kicks, dude. What do you mean? She they were like super Easter. You know how like the pastel colors, the blues and the pinks and the yellows and the whites, dude. She had a pair of filas. I don't even know what type of filas these were, <laughs> but I asked her where she got them. She got them at Kohl's. She's a big Kohl's shopper, you know. Dude, these things had these things were like mesh, but they had the gray was kind of the dominant color over them, and then they had like this pastel blue, the pastel pink, the pastel yellow, and wow. they had this mix of colorways. Dude, they look swag on her. Easter, yeah, swagged out for Easter. Oh, for sure, dude. She's uh, she's a big Easter fan. She's tight. a big holiday fan. What did you yeah. wear yesterday on Easter? What did I wear? I wore the. Um, as JJ would I wanted say, to put a thing up on the story. I just didn't get to it, and I yeah. didn't have time. I was I, curious because I know Easter's a it's a big family day. Obviously, yeah. you're going out, but everyone's in bright pastel kind of Easter some spring colors. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's a great uh, day for kicks. I'm sure, there's a lot of kicks. And dude, I no I went back and forth with a few different pairs. Dude. No surprise with what I wore. Uh, Jeff Kirby, here you go, bro. Uh, I wore the Nike Atmos collab. Oh, really? I did. I wore those. Yeah, the Air Max Two lights. Yep. So I wore those yesterday. I think I wore some black, uh, black joggers, and then like a, a white t shirt that had you know some of those same colors that would match the the shoes. So pretty pretty basic. JJ, what did nice. you wear? Uh, my little brother actually let me borrow his uh, Yeezy Blue Tints for the day. Wow! Wow! You guys wear the same wore, shoe? Uh, yeah. Little brother. Little brother. Yeah. Wow. You guys wear the same size? Me. He's like six two, dog. Oh, but you just wear the same size shoe. Yeah, that's tight. Little brother yeah. on the gains. He wore the. Why does turbo he have? Greens why does he have? Greens. Why does and the turbo greens? Why does he have all these six shoes? JJ would. Because not only does he not have to pay his. He bills, lives at home. Yeah, he lives at that's home. That's dope. He's, actually, the, he's Denver's biggest hype beast, basically. When I first started with the turbo greens and blue tints, I would say no, no. He's the near. same thing. He's Is living he at got, home. He doesn't have any expenses. Yeah, he's able to buy a. Hype he's, he's smarter. How about many it, okay? how many red Octobers does he have? He has none. Is he going to be at sneaker con? Uh, yes. Does he want to come by the booth? He probably <laughs> will. Okay, because there'll probably be lines at our booth. Okay, I know. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> There's All right, no go. lines at our booth, dog. Okay, go uh, go ahead. <laughs> he what? Um, no, I I'm actually the one who bought him those Yeezy blue tints when they first came out. So ah, uh, when you so you have rights to them is what you're saying. Yeah, in a way. So you can like, just kind of wear them. I'm kind of like that guy. That's how you guys. Kind of like how you guys. I really love giving gifts, like really big gifts that like really make an impact on people. Make someone happy. Yeah, yeah. Dope. just out of nowhere, just up for a yeah. surprise. Yeah, yeah. sure. That's cool. I like the blue tints. I like yeah, them. I like sick. them so much that I sold mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Like I, don't I have actually that like them. Like they're a dope shoe. Yeah. I Compared to the hyperspaces, though, those are too close in color. I feel like. No, they're talent. not. They're totally different. That dude. They're just you, too light. Did you watch Ted's vlog? No. You didn't watch Ted's vlog, did you? That's hyper, exactly what I was just gonna say. The That's hyperspace. The first time I've seen like a good look, dude. Really? I, you know what? I don't fall into hype, and yeah, like I don't give a shit that they were in a different region. And then the clays, I love the clays. I haven't worn them yet because that collector in me yeah. um, just says, "Dude, I don't want to keep them so nice. They're so sweet, dude." Yeah, just get just another awesome. pair, dog. I, maybe sneaker con. Hold on. Oh my god. So check this out, man. The hyperspaces do not even look s even an ounce remotely not, the same. Not close at all to the blue tints, dude. All right. And uh, so I watched Ted's vlog. So uh, Ted, uh, when he was in Japan, StockX uh, sent him a bunch of packages, right? That sponsorship yeah. and a great, great relationship. Um, the hyperspace was one of his shoes. Oh, my God. I didn't know how cool that shoe was because I just didn't pay any attention to it. Different region. I wasn't going to be I able to get like it. I never saw like official pics. I hate the official pictures yeah. they release. Like they, I can't trust they that just for shit. basic and boring. Right. Dude, I think like a light, 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 like a lighter, really, really light teal version of the cream. So are you going to get like. them now or Dallas? So the hyperspace, it, it's a close, the closest Yeezy to that colorway is probably the Sesame's, but the Sesame's are, the butters, no, 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 you're not talking hyperspace. You're talking true forms. No. Sesame's are close to the true forms. Hyperspace is teal, dog. How would that be any close yeah, to the, the hyperspace is not teal. Didn't you watch Ted's vlog? Dog. I was just watching Ted's vlog. They're not teal. They're teal. He what color them. are you? What color are they? He compared them to what? He compared the true forms. That's why you're fucked up. Are you sure? I promise you. Do we need? Do you want me to pull the sound again t twice in the podcast? <laughs> do you want I, me to pull another? Am I, am I that jacked up? You're you're because the hyperspaces are more white. I thought. Right, they've got their their the, the predominant the color. Sort of. That's what it, bugged it, me about the it's, hyperspace. It's like an off white, right? The it's hyperspace. like the blue tint, but teal. the tree the tray forms are the actual gray. The true with, forms. Is that what they are? The I days? think it's true. Ted said tray too. I thought it was tray forms. Oh, it's, I thought it was true. But true. that being said, those are the more gray with the the orange colors going through it, right? 
Yes. Yeah. Those are those are a gray upper. That's what he compared to the Sesame's. Ted compared those to the Sesame's. Did he? He might have. But the hyperspace, he showed the hyperspace in that same vlog. He showed the hyperspace. I, I thought really... they looked teal. I thought they looked like my Ultra Boost I created. Really? Yeah. I didn't think they looked teal at Maybe all. just a tad different in the upper. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe my whole world is messed up now. <laughs> Maybe we need to... Uh, Pause the podcast and go look at Ted's uh, Ted's vlog, so we can see exactly what he compared him to. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, dude, I'm pretty sure he compared him to a freaking. Let me see oh, if I. Oh jeez. <laughs> let me see if I can pull up uh, the vlog because he pulled out all three pairs. Wait, right. didn't he? He not pull out the clays because he already had the clays. Yeah, he didn't pull out the clay Aikens. He did the. I, he did the. Uh, true form. Why? Damn! Now you got me messed up. <laughs> Are they not true forms? Yeezy true form? Yikes. JJ, what are you seeing us? The tray forms. I didn't even like try to bring this up. Like, No, I know. I was asking, are you looking it up? That yes. would be helpful. Yes, I am actually. Because we, we need to figure this out. <laughs> Here's what's hilarious about this. Even on, like on StockX, it just says TR for, uh, uh, Yeezy Boost 350 V2 TR. FRM. So it's not true. It's not Trey. And it's not even form. Stadium Goods says true form. That's what I thought. I saw it. I always saw it as true T-R-U-E, forms. T-R-U-E, f- true, and then form. That's what I thought. Like, That's what I thought they were. But, you know, Dow's got me second guessing here. And those do look like the Sesame's a little bit. So what the, the hell the are The true you forms. Talking? That's what exactly yeah. what I was talking about. So what That's the where hell Teddy are compared. you talking about, dog? Hmm. Yeah, because I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing the hyperspace. That's that's what I'm looking up here, and they have like a grayish tint to them. I feel what? like the butter or the uh, blue tint might I, be a closer comparison. What do you mean a grayish bluish tint, Dell, or a gray tint? Like I could kind of. S- mm. It's really hard to see where you're coming from. The only thing oh, I think I think it's the stripe. Maybe it's the stripe in there that's messing. All right, we, we had to literally, for the first time ever, this might be the first time ever we stopped the cast. We literally had to stop the cast. Dow just had a moment that I had yesterday with lack, lackadaisical. Yeah. Same, same shit. <laughs> yep. Same exact thing just happened. Dow, we cut the cast off. <laughs> we went and watched Teddy's vlog so Dow could verify that he took the true form into the bedroom and not the hyperspace, which he thought. Yeah. Also that they were not gray. They're like a light blue, baby blue, teal blue upper. It's like yeah. my Ultra Boost I created just a little bit lighter. Yep. That's it. Yep. And so whatever caused you to get confused. I was way confused. Let's clear it up. It's not the tray <laughs> form. It's the true form. Ted doesn't. Ted was wrong too. Yeah. So Ted misspoke on the vlog. Yeah. Not that, true form. You know, people can be wrong, whatever. But that also made you wrong. Yeah. Because you came in here. Then we had the issue with the vlog and what he took in the sneaker room. So we stopped the show. This is the first time where we stopped the show, <laughs> looked up the video, watched it through. And now basically you're lackadaisical. I'm lackadaisical. <laughs> That's it. Okay. That's the. I'm gonna, Good job, Dow. I'm going to make sure and eat some cereal next time. I'm going to make sure and be ready to go. Eat some cereal. Yeah. Dude, I just tried to hit you with a gunshot, and the uh, the sound bite is like the the, the jingle. Yeah, it's like frozen up. I'm going to have to get the... Please tell me we don't have to pause the show again to get the soundboard <laughs> working now. My <laughs> Lord. That's like I said, that's the first time we've ever, I think, had to do that. Yeah. Where we've had to pause the show to verify info. I didn't want to sit here waiting for uh, or digging around. There we go. Now we're back. <laughs> Digging around with you guys and uh, while we tried to look it up and figure it out. Maybe that might have been intriguing to you, but I don't know if that would have been a good show. No. So we turned it off. We got it. We got it squared away. <laughs> now can, let's continue along. Here. Let's go. So hyperspace, you were talking about how you really need them. Are, yeah. is, is, are you, were you talking about the true forms though? Uh, no. So I was talking about the hyperspace. Um, I do. I, I like that lighter colorway. Um, I didn't think they were as blue tint. So, you know, I'm put on a little game because obviously on Ted's vlog, because um, that's really What's where I've, I, I haven't really see, looked at any pictures. Well, I didn't just, they right, were off my right, radar. Right. But looking at Ted's vlog, they don't look as blue to me. But when I look at pictures, uh, they may be a little bluer. So well, I think JJ was white, right with the dog. blue tint, you know, but they look white to me. They look like a dingy white. Well, I thought um, they initially looked like a very, very light blue tinted cream. Yeah. That's what I initially really, thought. Honestly, they're more teal than you think. And yeah. I think that's why Dirty Urim was surprised. Did you see when Dirty, when he pulled him out yeah. the box, Dirty I was like, what the hell are those? Yeah. He did the same shit. He's like, I've never seen those. What are those? What's going on? And I guarantee you, he did the same shit. He saw stock photos online. Yeah. Just assumed, like, he's like, ah, these aren't that different. And then when he saw these, like, wait, what? Teal. Yeah, yeah. The the outsole Mm -hmm. or the uh, midsole, it's kind of like yellow. Yeah. And then there's a little bit of yellow slash brown. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's weird. With the stripe. 
which is kind of strange too. But um, nonetheless, I thought the same thing. I was like, man, I might need that pair. Yeah. You know, I might have to go get those. Part of me still wants to hit Ted up and just go see him in person. Yeah. Before I decide. Sure, sure. But I think I, I'm the same way. I was like, oh, this looks pretty dope. Because if it's like that teal that's on your laptop there with that sticker, mm-hmm. that's, I'm in. Yeah. That no looks doubt. fresh. And I think that's what it is. I think it's about that that there. It's not dark teal. Yeah. It's it's like that. It's maybe something a little lighter than that Tiffany teal. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. a little bit lighter than that. Maybe yeah. like the laces that I have in my turbo greens, those off white laces, they say shoelaces that I was yeah. gifted yeah. from uh, the homie Adam down at Baker. So th- I wore those yesterday to, for Easter. Nice. And I think it's the same. I think they're the same as those laces. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Somebody send like us a pair on. of hyperspace to the show so we can look, yeah. <laughs> look, at, them see on, look at them on the show. We'll yeah. send them back to you. No, the, <laughs> I'll the pay tr- for the shipping. The true it. forms, man, they're, they're pretty close. I think Ted uh, did a comparison. They're, they're semi close to the, to the Sesame. So I don't need another, pair that looks right. similar yeah i don't need the true forms you know i don't i don't need those clays need them might need another pair yeah love them and then uh the hyperspace i might be interested in yeah for sure i'm more interested now after seeing that uh ted's new vlog yeah i'd like to i'd like to see these in person at sneaker con we'll see what's up the um the black ones we got yes. a release date on those june 22nd are you guys all in on those Oh, dude, yeah, I need those so bad. I think everyone is. Yeah. I think it's every motherfucker, which is pretty much everyone, that doesn't have pirate black Yeezys feels like they have to have this pair. Right. I don't even have a pair of Yeezys, and I want What do you mean? You got blue tints. No. You got your brother's blue tints. No. You guys are sharing are them. Brothers. No, they're on loan. I, no. You guys are sharing them. You no. bought them, so you have rights to them. What no. do you mean? I, that, those are his. Okay? JJ's I need my <laughs> own pair, okay? You don't... You're JJ's fun. Pawn I'm store. like gonna hit up everyone I know to be able to get that pair for retail because there's no way I'm gonna pay, pay resale because that resale is going to be out the roof. You guys think it's gonna be uh, just like all the other pairs where there's gonna be pretty wide stock on them, or is it gonna be a situation like I think it's gonna be before a, with the Yeezys where these are limited. I think it's gonna be just like the Statics. So, okay. Because remember, Statics had a reflective and a non-reflective. Yeah. I think this is gonna be the same. Oh, they're gonna have reflective and non. Yep. They're gonna have two I versions. That's, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing photos of the entire shoe being reflective. So, but is that on the surprised. reflective pair? You're, so, you guys think there's going to be two separate pairs? I think we're just be not two. seeing the second pair yet. Yeah. The second uh, pair is non-reflective. I don't know. We just haven't seen a second pair. The pair we've only. So, seen, why do you think there's a second pair then? Because the first reflective pair that they dropped, they dropped two pairs. They dropped with up. the statics. You're saying yes. Okay, so you're just assuming, but there's no it's you haven't guess. seen. There's no right. There's it's no hard s- info no. to you. Right. All we know pairs, right so now you're just guessing is that there we is have two. a black one that's all reflective. The entire shoe is reflective. That's all we know. So right now there's one pair dropping. To our knowledge, so you think there's going to be those on Yeezy Supply and everyone else going to get the rest? Same as statics. I would assume. Is that how the statics dropped? Right? Yes. Isn't it? I would assume. Interesting. That's interesting about you guys to think that without seeing any info, just to speculate that I don't know. direction. So I don't know. I just, just feel like there's going to be one pair. Basing it off of like past history. Like. Right. Yeah, so I, I'm looking at like Yeezy Lab and some of these other, other places uh, saying there is obviously going to be a black reflective, all reflective, and then I do see other people saying um, there is a variant that just has the laces uh, being reflective, just like the statics, statics. did. Hmm. So... I don't know, man. I'm seeing I'm seeing both, and I don't know which one is is set to release. Uh, the one that I see uh, is the Yeezy 350 V2 Black, but it doesn't have reflective next to it or around it. I see a price point of 220 Saturday, June 22nd. Um, but I, I think there could be a possibility of a reflective and a non-reflective. I really do. I see reflective and non-reflective Yeezy Boost 350 coming. I, yeah. I mean. We'll see what happens, but I think you're going to see it, both. Interesting. That's what I, don't, I, I think it's okay. their des- desperate way of trying to b- rebuild the hype in a way. Tell me this. If there is, if there are two pairs, there's the black one and uh, the black reflective. Yeah. Yep. What do, do you guys still feel the same about the shoe? Do you still need the shoe uh, if you can't get the reflective pair? Yes. And you just get the pair that has the reflective laces. Because at the end of the day, how often are you going to see the reflective version of the right. shoe? That's the only pair that I want. It's the whole want... idea of the glow in the dark one that they might be releasing. It's like you're gonna probably only see your shoes glow up maybe like ten percent of the time right. you wear them. Like 
So if, still the same to you. It doesn't yeah, matter. To if you guys. I can get the reflective one, that's cool. But even with the statics, man, I, I didn't have to have the reflective. So I'm happy. Dog, I'm happy as shit just photos, having the honestly. having the the non reflectives and having the reflect, fl- reflective laces. Yeah, if that's you just want to like flex in photos, I guess that would be the biggest reason I feel like you would want to get them because I feel like you're gonna break your you're gonna break literally just break your back just trying to get the shoe when you could have a better chance of just getting the. Re- the one with the laces. So. Yeah. Did you guys see Seth Fowler's vlog with Big Boy Chang? Oh, yeah. I well, watched, we watched it, that yeah. together, Doc. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Well, we had it on kind of in the background yeah. in the studio. I didn't... I couldn't hear what they were saying, but I know that that fool... Uh, oh, did he have a He pair? has a pair, dude. No he has way. a pair of the black ones. Did you see him in his collection, Doc? He has a pair of those black V2. Units. I didn't see that part, no. So, yeah, he's got those in there. I don't know if they're the reflective or non. I couldn't really hear what he was talking about. Other than the fact that Yeezy Mafia and a couple other people tried to holler at him saying they were fake. And a bunch of people are saying they're fake on Twitter. And this one had to jump on there like, yo, do you know who the hell you're talking to? Like, they didn't really know that it was Big Boy Chang. Like, who's just legendary. I mean, did you see that guy's freaking, his whole. Oh, yeah, he's just. Dude, he has everything that you could ever. Some of the craziest shit. I've like, seen. what what doesn't he have in the collection? I mean, everything from PEs, Oregon 4s, Michigan 3. I mean, everything you could, any shoe, dude. Right. And he says he wears them all. That's what's even crazier about That's that. That's cool. Good That's for what him. Yeah. So that was super crazy as well. But yeah, if you uh, if you didn't catch that, you can check it out. They do have a pair. Uh, he got a pair. I don't know where he gets all this stuff. I don't know how he gets this stuff this early. And Dude obviously has bread. Mm-hmm. That's all I can say. For sure. So moving on, uh, let me see. Anything more sneaker wise? Is there anything There's else you guys want to hit? Nothing on Supreme. I've been doing some like research here and there throughout the whole conversation, and I can't. Still find early in the anything. week. Yeah, we'll have s- more stuff tomorrow, but. There's more and more hints dropping about because Supreme, this is their 25th anniversary. So it sounds like there's going to be a diamond box logo that's going to be dropping sometime this season. I don't know if it's this week or in the coming weeks, right. but... Isn't that the Swarovski? Yes. Yeah, diamond it's gonna, yep. yeah, collab. It's yep. Bedazzled. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be sweet. That's going to be one expensive box logo retail-wise, and the resale is just going to be out the door. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Did you guys see, oh, dude, I what? don't even know. I should have had this pulled up in advance. What? Please tell what? me. All right, a couple things. First of all, did you see Eric Whiteback with the Supreme, or Eric Whiteback with the uh, Supreme BMW? Yes, dude. I did. The Hot Wheels car, right? Yeah. You, you guys saw that. Yep. So explain to people what happened if you uh, if they didn't see it. Uh, so essentially, they found and bought a uh, M3 that's literally the exact model that is... This guy's appeared. insane, dude. Yeah. This that, guy is so insane. And I've been telling you guys, he has the best content, yeah. some of the best content on Instagram. He has some of the greatest hookups like, like, I've ever seen. Whatever it is, yeah. No matter... I don't know if it's hookups. I don't know if it's plugs. I don't know if he's just getting stuff at retail. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he is partnered with somebody. But yeah. either way, it's not only the fact that he's getting the shit. The content he's creating with the shit is so fire. Yeah. Like, it's quality stuff. And yeah. he doesn't even speak. It's yeah, not, right? He never really speaks. But um, he literally got the same exact car that dropped in the Supreme drop last Thursday with a loading truck. And he had a guy literally print Supreme on the side of this freaking car. And he kind of like does a, I think he uses a Hot Wheels track with a small car and lets it go down the track. And then appears the giant, the giant version, the real sli- the real life version of the M3. And it runs, it's sick. Apparently he did like a, a, f- a meetup for photos. He even parked in front of the new Supreme score. Like this man is actually nuts. That's but. dope. Super dope, right? Mm-hmm. He's living the dream. There's this video, dude. Too bad he didn't have an entire truck, but... I don't know how much of this I can play. Um, damn, I want to try to scrub this really, really quickly. Let me see if this will record into the cast. I can scrub this really quickly. Dude, so Eric uh, so Eric Whiteback is out in New York City with that car out in front of the Supreme store. Yeah. And he's taking pictures with fans. Yes. Did you guys see the video of... I don't know if it's a... some Someone said it's a... Uh, the video says Brooklyn Goons. Someone said it's Bloods. I don't know. Did you see those fools roll up on him and the Supreme Car? Dude, he's wearing the full Raiders gear. He's wearing like the Raider uh, pants and then the Raider jacket with all the logos all over it. It looks super sick. And then he's got the shadow ones on, uh-huh. black and uh, black and gray there matching. And then he's got a, the black and gray Supreme beanie. And he's taking photos with fans in the car 
or next to the car outside of um outside out, the supreme store yeah outside the supreme store so then this dude uh so check this out listen listen to some of this audio and actually you guys can see the video and the video is up on youtube if you want to rip it and put it up in the uh, on the youtube video so these guys can see check this out dude check out what happens here my man whitebeck he's out in front of the uh, supreme store taking photos with fans and look what happens All right, so a blunt, be like, oh so, shit. So <laughs> this dude, I don't know if he's a good, like this. We'll just let's just call him a goon, gangster, whatever. Mm -hmm. He is mad at uh, this dude that's next to Eric Whitebeck. I'm not sure if this is the guy that owns the Supreme Car. I don't know if this is the guy that is his security or just with him. I have no idea who, who this guy, guy is. is. Yeah. But somehow he is instigating. Now, if he just shuts the fuck up, that guy probably goes away. Yeah. Yeah. But he continues to instigate and talk to this man. Wow. And this man continues to get more and more pissed as this goes on. I'd be nervous to get him to do something to the car. Okay. Yeah. 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 My money up, my bag heavy. I'm happy for you. Fuck out of here. You out here, big body. Yo, big body. Big body. Big body. I need to be back out here documenting the culture. You're a dick rider, You're a dick rider boy. I'm out here with my own bag. Shit, you know, with my own bag. Ikea, get out. Yeah, Ikea what, so nigga? Relax. My title in the car, pussy. Relax. Relax. Ikea. Bro, we're trying to take pictures. Bro, If you don't want to fight, tell him to shut the fuck up. Okay. So yeah. 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 That's how I give it up. We're not talkers. We want to do this. Fuck you, man. No one else here wants that shit. All right, so tell him to so stop leave. talking. Bro. Yo, 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 cameraman. Dead ass. Tell him to shut the fuck up. And he's going to leave. Like, Stop he's talking. working for you. Okay. He's making you money right now. Like, he's here. instigating. You know he ain't going to leave till he's here. Why are you talking yeah. to him? Like, you're going to stop him from talking. Come on. Yeah. Like, uh, you're a talker. You're a talker. That's why I was you. I was in the corner. Okay. Y'all make no Horses. sense. Y'all, y'all, y'all feeding him. Y'all feeding him exactly what y'all want, what he want. Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. Yo, his homie in the car is probably like, damn man, we just about to go get something. Yeah, smoke guys. a blunt. You back it up. <laughs> we photo bombing now. Get a real car in the flick. Get a real car in the flick. You shitting me? You shitting me or kidding me? Don't crash. Just don't crash. He just no, ruined it. Just My son's about to leave now. Anyway, that's kind of what went down. And I initially saw the original clip on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And it was only a minute long. Obviously, it's on Instagram. Sure. So I found the guy that actually went and vlogged that. And I guess like he's just a New York vlogger. Like he's not even like a hype guy. He's not anything. He's like he and he said he's he hasn't been vlogging for a while. Like he's kind of gotten out of the game. Sure. And so that's why he was like, man, I need to be out here vlogging. I need to be out here documenting the culture. They, man, the streets, this shit, I'm like a magnet to this shit. You know? Because, <laughs> dude, literally in the beginning of this vlog, it's about a six minute video total. This man is skateboarding up the street. He's just going through <laughs> New York, dog, like not yeah. intending for this. And so as he's going by, he's like, oh shit, the Supreme car. He like stops and he walks across the street and he goes and daps up Eric Whiteback. He's like, oh, I, f I fuck with your content, blah, yeah. blah, 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 daps him up or whatever. Then that starts right when he's there. There's a huge line of people waiting to take a picture. Yeah, he's yeah. not in line. He just kind of daps him up, says what's up, follow your content, you know, good looking, blah, 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 blah. Sure. And all of a sudden this starts popping off. Like the craziest shit ever, dude. Huh. Uh, so 
I, I, I had to bring that up on the cast. I still got to show Chris Roberts because I think he would think that's hilarious. Biggest Supreme guy ever. But if you don't know um, Eric Whiteback, check him out, man. Give him a follow. I think you'll really enjoy his content as I do. I was not expecting that though. Yeah, that was no something. Doubt. That was something totally Turned different. Turned into crazy. But the dude kept talking and kept instigating. Sure. Like, what do you think? You know, he's yeah. not going to go anywhere. And then the cameraman finally stepped in. He's like, dude, nobody wants that shit. Just get out of here, you know. And yeah. he's telling him, was telling him to stop talking, you know. And yeah. the other guy, they're both just New York dudes. Sure. Like, one dude is uh, from one side, one dude's from the other side, and they're just going to continue to jaw at each other. Right. They're not. No one's going to back down. No one's going to stop talking until it becomes an altercation. You know what I mean? That's what happens in New York. Yeah, no doubt. People just continue to go and go and go. No one is like, all right, okay, all right, yeah. I'm going to leave. You know? This photo bombing. He yeah. said he's going to leave, now he's photo bombing. <laughs> oh, we photo bombing now. Which you actually know? was a pretty sick car, man. Dude, Both cars. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Sweet what was that? Do you know? Uh, yeah, it looked like an Audi. I an don't Audi know what? You don't know. Okay, yeah, I knew it was an Audi, Dallas. Jesus. Oh. It sounded like an A7, but... Yeah, sorry. Just assassinating sure. people out there. Is it A7, A3, S6, right. a, you know... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know cars. Yeah. But anyway, super, super funny. Um, I just wanted to, do, to put that up to kind of uh, end sneakers and fashion. My bread still haven't got here. I wanted to look at those on the show, but they're still not here. Um, are you guys good on sneakers? Anything more do you want to talk about? Good cover to go. Before we move on? All right, let's continue along. Um, we talked a little bit of NHL playoffs, NBA playoffs in the beginning of the show. Uh, so let's kind of wrap that a little bit. Like I said, game seven going down tomorrow night. You've got the, uh, the Vegas Whoa. Golden Knights, mm -hmm. San Jose Sharks. Cannot wait. In San Jose tomorrow night for game seven, all the marbles. I, I can't admire the grit more out of the Sharks, the way they've battled back in this series. Early on, they had some goaltending issues in the first few games. They were giving up a ton of goals. Uh, I know Kirby was just all over Twitter, just pissed <laughs> off. Yeah, totally. just, just ripping the Sharks organization. Uh, and then went to go on to apologize. Then he's, then he's back the apologizing. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's the... I love Jeff on Twitter because it's there. It runs the gamut of a fan. Like if you're a fan of a team, you know exactly what that man's feeling. It's so many highs and lows. Like <laughs> one minute you're it's just you're, a roller coaster. You're super pumped. You're going into the playoffs. Then all of a sudden you're mad about the performance in the playoffs. They're getting their ass beat. They suck. They don't show up in the big moments. Now all of a sudden they take they win last night. They uh, pull it out in double OT. They take them to game seven. Now everyone's back on the Sharks. I knew it. They could do it. They're yeah. here, baby. They're here. You know, it's, it's just it's hilarious to Dude, me. Dude, the best reality love sports. show. The best reality Ever. show on TV, sports. Just what sports, we say it all the time. I just have a question because this is what something I've kind of been struggling with because just kind of deciding who I would rather want the avalanche to face because either team, I looked at the past plays, we've lost all our games to the Sharks and Las Vegas. It's weird because there's some games we would totally wreck them and there's others we would totally get wrecked. Like there was no in between. So I'm kind of wondering wh who do you would, who do you want? I'm ready for either. If the Avalanche either, continue to play like they're playing, dude, they just look so much faster on the ice than everyone else. They look like they're, they're playing with guys, their hair on like, fire. Yeah. You looked, if you, when you watch the game last night, you, there they was have just a, a noticeable, <laughs> uh, there was a noticeable difference in speed. No, when I watched that Sharks Golden Knights game last night, they looked slower. Slow. Now, granted, uh, they went into two overtimes. Yeah. You know, I understand, but they just, I don't know, dude, the abs are playing. They with just their need hair to keep that right like, energy going, man. Well, that's what, what I thought about, too, when I was cheering for the Sharks last night. I was like, all right, am I cheering for the Sharks so the Avs can get an extra day of rest, which is going to benefit them because they're going to be more rested going into the next series? Or do I cheer for Vegas because I want this to be over with and let's jump into the next series because we so are hot right now. Yeah, we're hot. You think I want to? You do, you think I want another uh, episode of the Rockies in 07? No. Sweep everyone out of the playoffs, and you get to the World Series. You have to wait a week and a half for Boston to finish up, and then all of a sudden you get swept. You don't even yeah. win a game. When TTF has tickets to Game Five, <laughs> me and my uncle. <laughs> I know. Trying to get tickets, World Series, <laughs> Denver, Colorado. When does that happen? <laughs> Never. Didn't that happened last answer. year too. With no. You? Oh, no, oh, not in the uh, not, not in World, World Series, series not the but World playoff series. Yeah. like Game One um, or Round One. Because then you uh, had what, game what was four? last year. Oh yeah, that's right. You had oh game no, four. No, we. I don't remember what happened last year. I remember you had tickets, but I had it, tickets was, too. Uh, it was where they had to win at least one more game. I think uh, so they could extend I thought the it series. Was a, mm. I and thought you they just to had to win a game because I could have sworn you had game four. Did they get? It was that Monday. It was like Sunday. Did the Rockies get Monday? swept out of the playoffs last year? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm like brain farting right now. Did they, they get didn't swept? Make or, a, I thought they won one. Well, God, they didn't I don't remember. make it past the round one. I don't remember. I know in in, in, uh, in 07, I just needed them to win one. Can right. you fuckers win one against Boston? No, they couldn't do it. Nope, couldn't do it. So uh, we didn't get to go to the World Series. But 
So uh, that that definitely crossed my mind when I was thinking about the Avalanche. I had flashbacks to Rockies, Rocktober, 07. And I don't know. I feel like the team, I don't feel like they're on a lucky streak or like a lucky heater streak like the like the Rockies were. The Rockies were just so hot. They had won 20 of 21 to get in the play-in game. Then they had to win the playoff game. Todd Ho- or, uh, Matt Holliday, scar on his chin, sliding across the plate. Mm-hmm. Then they jumped into the playoffs and they just started sweeping fools, swept two series straight, then went into the World Series and just got gassed. And I just hope that doesn't happen to the Avalanche. They're just too rested. Oh, the heat wears off. I don't think that's the case. They don't feel like a, a lucky, streaky heat team on a heater right now they feel like a good team a good young team that's ready for the postseason and i also just found out apparently it has been 11 years since we've passed round one right yep it's insane. last year we got beat in the playoff badly too in the first the round the past couple years dude we've gone to round one and gotten killed yeah like it's well that's what happens with young teams and that's what people yeah. are talking about with the nuggets Hey, are the Nuggets going to be able to make it out of the first round? A lot of people had expectations, took down the second uh, seed in the Western Conference. People expect them to be in the Western Conference Finals against Golden State. Not so fast, you know what I mean? They're still a young team, and San Antonio's got players. I never, I didn't go into this series. I said the fir- the two worst matchups we could have drawn in the first round were the Spurs and the Jazz. For some reason, I know the Rockets aren't having problems, but we have problems with the Jazz. Right. For whatever reason, just the matchups are bad. Same thing with the Spurs. We have problems with them. The matchups are bad. DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge, that Derek White at point guard, who's from here at Parker, Colorado. Mm-hmm. All tough covers, dude. And when you have a young team like that, you get foul trouble. It's just what happens. Yep. One of your stars is your big man. He's not exactly the most – he's kind of plodding. Let's be real. I don't want to call him unathletic because the Joker is that super athletic, but he's just slow. Mm-hmm. He's a slower-moving guy. You know what I mean? And so I, I think – uh, overall, I, I still feel good about the Nuggets. I feel optimistic, but the matchup is tough with the Spurs. No, I totally agree with that. I think the uh, the young caliber that we have with the Nuggets, um, I think they're going to be in contention for years yeah, to yeah, come. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I think the lack of experience is something, and uh, obviously having and Mike Mike Malone, dude, is a great coach. But you're going against a, a Greg Popovich, yep. and that is always scary. You know, uh, a coached team by somebody like Popovich is always scary. But you know, you look at the Spurs; they have a pretty young core as well. And uh, you know, I think Lamarcus Aldridge is probably. Is still kind of in his prime. I think maybe two, three years ago, uh, even with Portland back in the day, uh, you might argue that was his prime. But you know, he's still a, a force to be reckoned with. You know, Millsap, who's on the other end of his career. Yeah, he's on the other side, obviously. Yep. So no comparison between him and him and Lamarcus. But uh, yeah, I think they have a young core. I'm worried about the inexperience uh, a little bit in these in these heat of games. You look at a lot of the starters. I think it was game three. The starters were not to be found. You know, the bench came off, played played the game better yeah. than the starters. So, you know, if if uh, if some of the big dogs aren't playing, Jokic, uh, you know, you look at Murray, uh, some of those guys, if, if they're out to lunch, we're in trouble. Are you more locked in on NHL or NBA, NBA. playoffs? NBA, 100%. Did you watch any uh, Did you watch any hockey this weekend, Avalanche, anything? Did you watch? Not, not a ton. Going to get hated on. But NBA, I watched though. zero. But NBA, yeah, you watched? NBA, what I'm, is wrong with you? NBA, I'm locked in. What about uh, I love, okay? So I love NBA playoffs. That's just one of my favorites. I, see, I'm I love both. Yeah, as long as um, my squads are in it. See, not Nuggets me. and Abs are in it. I don't give a shit. Weird. You know, you know what's funny is I'm enjoying some of these other games a lot more. Like, dude, I love this storylines behind uh, Russell Westbrook and uh, Dollar Dame. They looked bad last dude, night, though, dude. I know they looked, they looked horrible. Bad. Paul George looked great. Yeah, dude, right, right. Westbrook, what happened, dude? He had one point in the entire second half last night that was a free throw i know dude he i mean when he catches when he when he catches fire oh my god it's so fun to watch which he was in the first half last night he but in was. the second half he was second so half, cold not to be found yep you know but paul george he was still, beating his chest yelling at the crowd everything in the first half yesterday they had the blue out going in there you bet i just love this i i just love this story between dame and, and westbrook man they are just at each other's throats yep. you know an ejection could come at lillard's any time. better player dude. Just, yeah dude for it's sure not even close they're just talking shit dude lillard's launching from half to, yeah uh, from uh, he's more clutch he's just better dude it's Guy is this guy is he's playing very very well he's definitely more clutch Westbrook's just kind of all over the place like he he can get things done but man he wants to take over the game and if and if, and if he just can't get his shots to fall he looks like shit what about Harden on Saturday night did you see that oh for 15 I did and, what a, and, and dude, they still pulled it out and it was post game uh, interview that called him out and, she, and he's like what I did I didn't even know you know because the you oh know, I didn't see that oh That's yeah funny. that was a great, I didn't even great know clip. he's <gasps> like I didn't even know I didn't pay attention and then Chris Paul got involved and says we don't care about 
about that, man. We just care about the win. We just care about this. So, you know, his, yeah. his, his uh, you know, Chris Paul stood up for him. But how demoralizing for Utah, though, if you have your, you have the star player, the guy that's been crushing you. Yeah. He goes that cold shooting and you still can't win the game. Still can't take the W. Is that it? That's yeah. it for the series, right? Well, and here's what I would say about. You know, Spidey Mitchell. How do you dude, bounce back from this that? guy? This guy is so good, and he is so young. I think he's only twenty-one years old. Young. Um, but did you hear uh, the post-game presser uh, with Kyle Korver? No. What he had to say? I didn't hear any of it. No. Yeah, Kyle Korver just alluded. You know, so the media had kind of left and and done done all their interviews. Kyle Korver came back because I think Car- uh, Korver's now been in the league fifteen or sixteen years, and he had the he invited the media back into the in into the. Um, Locker room into the locker yeah, room, yeah. and he basically had this great elaborate story of saying, "Hey, you know what? This is this is just the start of the story with Spidey Mitchell. You know, everybody has their one shot. Everybody gets their chances of having of being that that game winner shot because he had the chance, right? Yeah, to, to take yeah. him into overtime, um, and and miss the shot. But uh, he's like, this is just the beginning of the story. You know, this guy's twenty one years old. He's got a lot of basketball to play. He's like he he took the team. He put us on on his back, and and he had a great game. So what? He missed the shot. This mm-hmm. is just the beginning of the story. So right. really cool of Kyle Korver to come uh, nice. come to his his, his player side. Um, but but I think Utah man, they're they're a great core. Uh, Rudy Gobert Gobert is is super is super tight. Um, Joe Ingles, dude, he's. He can knock down shots from all over the court. So underrated. Too. Not not last game though. No, no, no. Yeah, he, lo- he looked shitty last game. But uh, Joe Ingles is is a force to be reckoned with on the outside. And and Utah plays fast. They right. play fast, and that's what Denver's known for. And if you have a team that can play right with them in terms of speed, Denver may not take that W at the end. But I think that's why Utah's such a great matchup for them. And uh, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. But uh, but I do like watching Houston. Man, they're just. God, man, they can get hot. You know, you look at Green can get hot, Harden get hot, CP3 can get hot. Um, you know, uh, what is it, Capella? Yeah, Capella's tight, dude. Because you know you're going to have two or three people guarding Harden at once. That frees up Capella. You're seeing a lot of lobs to him. Um, what do you think of his hair? That's weird. <laughs> well, well, him and Dennis Schroeder. Yeah, Schroeder as well from OKC. Yeah, dude, he played really. He Schroeder's played. he has shorter hair though, so from when they zoom out far, yeah. and he's on D, it looks like someone just hit him with clippers. Totally, and he's just got a bald spot in his head. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I was saying that last night. It was like, look, doesn't he look bald? Like yeah. what? He looks like someone just hit him with some clippers. So yeah, funny. No but everyone's looking forward to the Golden State uh, Rockets matchup in the next round. Oh yeah, for sure. Everyone's already. Hey, this is it. It's over. Rockets look to finish it out tonight against the Jazz. Jazz are at home. Game four. Yep. Looking to go for the sweep. What do you think? Do you think they close it out tonight? Easy. Or they let them get, they get one more? Uh, they or the Jazz it. get one? Okay. They close, close it, it out tonight. Yeah, yeah I'm did with you, you, I think so. Did you hear about uh, uh, Clay Thompson? No. Uh, so so he obviously didn't have a, a great uh, game three, right? So he he literally said in his, in his, in his presser that he uh, went and played beach and played some volleyball. And he's like... Yo, I'm going to jump into the ocean. I just know that'll reset my mind, and it worked. I don't know if I'm going to jump in, up in the north because it's freezing, but something definitely contemplate if I don't shoot the ball well the rest of the year. So he was talking about how his game three, he was just absent. Right? Yeah. Game four, however, he went off with 32 points, mm-hmm. dude. Literally. So dunks, uh, yeah. dunks too. Yeah. He, he was in there. So he literally said, "You, hey man, I just had to go to the beach. I yeah. had to go free my mind. Jumped in the Pacific and said, that's why my success was what it was. I was able to free my mind." Yeah, they, All right. st- they're the uh, they're they're definitely out to show that the the game the Clippers stole was just that. Yeah, they stole mm-hmm. it. It was a fluke. Yeah, not legit. They're up three to one. What do they close it out tomorrow night? They look to close it out. I think. I think so. Yep. So that'll be interesting, man. I'm but I I'm gonna be actually no, it's Wednesday. Oh, is it Wednesday? Yeah, they skipped two nights for some reason. It's one of those weird things. They're back in uh, back in the Golden State on Wednesday night, up three one. Let's close it out there. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting, man. It's gonna be fun. I think tomorrow night's gonna be the best. So Tuesday night, you got you got the uh, game seven there. Avs, or, I mean, uh, Sharks and Golden Knights to see who plays the Avs, and then you got the Nuggets game five against San Antonio here at the Can Pepsi Center in Denver. Mm. It's gonna be litty. What I'm kind of uh, just to close out on here on the uh, hockey and NF, or NBA conversation. I kind of think that no shade to Kirby, but I would like to see Golden or I'm sorry, the Golden Knights win, yeah. just so that way. I don't know if I'm going to, but take a trip to Vegas. Kind of want to take a little trip out there, Vegas. Go uh, T-Mobile Arena, see the Avs in Vegas and the Golden Knights. I think that would just be super sick. That would be. I think we'd have to do it for the cast. Have to. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you can get the time off. I don't know if it's going to be pretty expensive. 
I don't know if our ladies would be pumped. Yeah, but uh, tickets were like two hundred bucks a piece. So yeah, my lady was like, "I don't care. Like, we got we got to go." Two hundred bucks. She was geeked. Yeah, that seems cheap. Yeah, where do I sign up? For the oh, for the game itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not bad. That's it. That's it. Yeah, up nosebleeds. No. Wow. Close to the rink. On the ice. No, on the ice. On the <laughs> bench, <laughs> sitting next to <laughs> like quite a few rows back. On the visitors' me. bench, sitting next to Stasny, who used to be an Avalanche player. That's tight. Yeah, cool. Stasny. I remember Stasny. Yeah, he's with the Knights. But anyway, man, yeah, that's kind of what I want to see. Just because I, because you might have an opportunity. Yeah, to... I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll go out to Vegas. Maybe I'll just take a little red eye, go see a game. Now, if we do that, we got to go to Vegas. We got to watch the game. We got to go hit the UN. Yeah. Sit down with JC. Do a full episode of the show. Interview him. Like we have, we'd have a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff. That'd be to do. fun. That's why we need to be doing this full time. Yeah. What are we doing? It wouldn't just be in and out burgers in a in a game. No. It'd be bigger. Yeah, it'd be big time. You'd have to. See what you um, did there. <laughs> NFL draft. Let's move into that conversation here. Yeah. Uh, the. Are you pumped? I am excited. I'm, I don't know about pumped. Are we having a draft party? No. Okay. No. Uh, what do you mean? Maybe next year. Uh, depends. Depends. Yeah. Could be Could be one of those situations where I don't... The number 10 pick, I'm not that excited about it. Yeah. I was more excited about five last year, and then they took Bradley Chubb, which I think... It's not that Bradley Chubb's not a good player. I just think... Yeah, there was some other needs that you could have addressed. It plus... Was a, it was a waste. It wasn't a waste. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, plus the... Uh, Outside uh, pass rushers in this year's draft, the DNs, dude, it is so deep. If you would have waited a year, you could have got five players like Bradley Chubb later than the fifth pick overall. So I just feel like that could have been better used. And then you could have got your, if you really thought you needed to go DN this uh, this year, outside pass rush, you could have done that this year. Now, obviously, this year we really need linebacker. Yeah. Um, so there's a few different things that we're looking at. But let's let's start from the top. You want to do a little, let's do our own little mock draft here. Okay. Um, for the first few picks through 10, uh, I'll let you start who we talked about this. I, I kind of gave some insight last week on with the Cardinals hype video. Yeah. Did you see they put out a second one? I didn't. So they put out the still, first one, which still, I said it didn't have Rosen still without Rosen. No, it has Rosen. Oh, does it? They put out a second hype video and it wow. has Rosen. So I guarantee management they're, was they're like, PR. what are you guys? Yeah. What are you guys doing? Like everyone must've been reading into it the same way I was. Totally. Like, uh, where's I was your the, franchise quarterback? I was here? the same way when you told me about it. So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, go with number one. Who who do, you, who do you got the Cardinals taking? Cardinals still taking Kyler Murray. What do they do with Josh Rosen then? Uh, with Rosen, um, I think they end up trying to. I don't know what round. I don't know what they offer. Um, but uh, God, would they have to? I'm trying to think because they would have to get rid of him before the draft to have uh, to be able to move up in the draft. But I don't I don't see them doing that. I still think they keep him, but they do like a like a before the season trade, a mid season trade. So you don't think they trade him draft weekend? You think Kyler Murray and Josh Rosen are both on the roster by Sunday night at the end of the draft? Possibly, mm. but by the by the start of the season, Rosen's out. Right. Yeah, but I don't know if they do it as early as as that. I feel like they use, I feel like that's great draft capital, but I I think they're waiting for a first round pick. And the Chargers have been the highest bidder so far. I think they offered a right. second round, but no one's come through with that first round pick, and I, I think agree. that's what they really want. Yep. Is the first round pick that's kind of what they're waiting on. I see two thing one of two things happening. I obviously see them the same way taking Kyler Murray or mm-hmm. I see them um trading with the Raiders, dude. Really? Trading back to 4. Yeah. The Raiders go get Murray and then they get somebody else at 4 that they really value. Um just because Maybe they believe in Rosen. Now, without Rosen being involved in the mock video and all that stuff, eh, well, I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I think they take Kyler. So number two, San Francisco. I think that is the most solid pick. If you you want to uh, put your money down on any pick in the draft, I think every mock I've seen, everything I've heard Mm -hmm. is Nick Bosa. Yep, Ohio State. Ohio State, Nick Bosa, D-end. Did you see that uh, Nick Bosa went ahead and deleted all his pro-Trump tweets? Did he? Yeah, he did. He was. He had like a bunch. I guess he was a big Trump supporter. Had a bunch of Trump tweets. For some reason, he went and deleted them all. Not he deleted his whole social. He just went and deleted those. So it's like. And then they asked him about it. Someone asked him about it, and the dummy responded. He should have no sold it. And instead, he was like, "Oh yeah, I felt like it was the best way to go," or something like really gener- generic or vanilla. And the, the dude's like, "So do you not feel that way anymore?" Or like it was really confusing. <laughs> it was it was pretty funny. But it's like, well, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just? Why would you? Why would you talk about it? Why wouldn't you just go delete it in silence and be done? 
Right. But not, you know what I mean? Like, why well, go out and say, okay, well, I deleted all these tweets. <laughs> like, that makes no sense. So, yeah, I'm going to say he's going number two. What do you got for the Jets at three? Uh, the Jets at three. This is a tough one for me, but uh, I, I think I would go Josh Allen. Uh, so... Obviously, a little the D-end. A little bit of D-end, yeah. D-end end. slash linebacker, Josh Allen. Yeah, because he's outside linebacker, yeah. right, versus inside. Yeah, so I think I think they need some help with support there. I think uh, I think their quarterback, man, has been getting beat the hell up. So That's the know. worst. That was, my, that was my pick for the Raiders at four. Yeah. Was Josh Allen. So you're taking him off the board. Yeah. Now you're telling off. me he's not there. Yeah. Then I'm going to go with uh, – then I'm going to go with Quinn and Williams – Defensive tackle. I think he's the best player in the draft. Most NFL ready, hands down, ready to go. Can step right in. Can play. It's Quinn and Williams. I have him going to the Jets, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, the Raiders taking him then. If yep. you think the Jets well, that's are taking that's what one. I was gonna do. I was gonna flip flop because yes, I have I have Quinn and going uh, number four, uh, Oakland Raiders. Gotcha. Absolutely, man. Alabama roll tide. So now he's gone. Yep. So what are you what are you gonna do for the Raiders? So, I mean, if you would, so if you would go that on the Raiders, because man, I still think, I still think the Raiders need help uh, at that position. So then they I have guess, three first round draft picks too. That's another big thing. A right. lot of people forget the Raiders are going to be doing damage in this year's draft, and they just fired all their scouts. You see that? I did. And then Mike Mayock and everyone else, dude. It's a, it's an interesting situation over there in Oakland. Yeah. Or, so yeah, I guess it's still Oakland. So if you take if you take Quinn out out the game, I mean, I still. I still think the Raiders need help at that position. So next best, I think, would be uh, Ed Oliver. Yep. You know, over there uh, from uh, coming out of Houston. So I think that's probably what I would do. I would still stick with that same scheme, and he would be your next best after him. Damn, that's uh, that's funny. That's that's who I have next yeah. going to Tampa Bay. Yeah. So uh, let me see. Let man. me tell you who I've going to Tampa Bay. Then, so if you had uh, def- uh, defensive tackle, so I had actually going to Tampa Bay uh, linebacker. Devin White. Oh boy, bud, we're uh, <laughs> are, are we like are we cl- we're close though, right? We are, but man, oh, gosh, this is so hard. I know. Um, well, because I did three different mock drafts, and this is the one that I I this is the feel one most I'm, confident. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It ain't my heater, but it's close. Uh, I'm gonna go with Rashawn Gary, okay. DND tackle out of Michigan. I'm gonna say he's going to go into going to Tampa at five. Do you? What do you? Uh, what do you have for the? Okay. Oh wait, so, did I get messed up here? Yeah. So we're one ahead. So I. So you had the. Oh, you had the Jets. I'm sorry. Yeah, you had the Jets. I had the Raiders. You have Tampa. Right. I have the Giants. Because I did two, four, six. You did one, three, five. Should have been. One. Yes. One, three. So you should have one. You should add three at the Jets. Which you did, right? And then you should have five at Tampa Bay. I should have had the Raiders. Oh, and I did have the Raiders. I said that. Uh, I said Quinn and Williams would go to the Raiders, yeah. and you said Ed Oliver to the. Yeah, I to said Tampa. Yeah, I said. No, I said Ed Oliver. Or did I agree with you on the Raiders? Yeah, I, I think, think we both agree on Ed Oliver to Tampa. I think that's what. So we then did. I'm going Rashawn Gary to the uh, Giants. That's where we're at. Rashawn Gary. Yeah. So Rashawn Gary, D tackle out of Michigan to the Giants. What do you have? You have him taking Haskins? I did. I don't think so. You don't think so? Why everything not? I'm hearing is the fact everything I'm hearing is they don't like Dwayne Haskins that they don't like him as much as everybody thinks. Really? Now it could be all smoke screen. Yeah. But that's what I'm seeing is that they're not set on Dwayne Haskins. They feel like they can go get another quarterback to sit behind Eli a little bit later. That may be Drew Locke. That may be uh dude, you know who's getting a lot of buzz all of a sudden? I don't know I'm in the top ten, but Daniel Jones. They're saying that uh, I just saw this morning that they're comparing him to. They're laying it on thick, bro. This this is funny about that's what's funny about the draft. Right before you get there, everyone is being compared to like legends in the game. Mm-hmm. They're comparing Daniel Jones right now. They're saying he looks Peyton Manning esque. They're reminding him of how Peyton Manning was when he was at the draft and when he got in the draft and just the way he um, he's talking with scouts and talking with coaches. So it's very interesting to me. Yeah. That. Uh, that Daniel Jones is rising like that. I'm like, really? Peyton Manning? We're talking about a guy that's not even being chosen in the first round in right. mo- most mock drafts, and you're talking about Peyton Manning comparisons? What are we, you know, what are yeah, we doing here? That's true. But you, you like, uh, so I'm going with Sean Gary at six. You like Dwayne Haskins there, but what mm-hmm. do you say about number seven, Jaguars? Well, this is interesting because uh, did you see what happened yesterday? No. Uh, so Maybe. the Jaguars just uh, released and traded. Who? Yeldon. 
No, I missed that. How did I miss that news? Dude, so this... DJ this, Yeldon's out, huh? This changes things a little bit for me, but initially what I was going to do was... Uh, I think Jaguars want to beef up their... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, some of their offensive defense in terms of like uh, just tackles and whatnot. So I've got a tackle by the name of Jawan Taylor going, mm. you know, uh, because I think they want to beef up That's some funny. of their. That's exactly why I have. I think they want to beef up some of their strength. But that being said, this whole mishap they have with their running back situation, especially with Yeldon. Um, yeah, did you see what uh, what type of contract? Are you looking it up real quick to see what con- contract he just signed? Yeah, I'm search. I'm I don't see it yet though. Gotcha. Who do you so, say he went to? Um, he went to. Damn oh, Bills! Bills! Holy yep. shit, huh? And I think they signed him a two-year or three-year. They still have McCoy over there. Yeah. Huh. Was it a two-year? They did, he just did two-year, two-year contract. Yeah, two-year deal. Yep. Yeah. And that was about five hours ago, I believe, or or yesterday. However you want to spin it, dude. That feels so late with all the free agent signings. I know. Like he just he was free agent, just signed out of nowhere. Yep. Interesting. So that may change things a little bit in the draft, but I, I still think they want to kind of beef up some of their uh, their tackle situations. So I still say Juwan Taylor. The next pick is crazy to me because I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say that the Lions trade out. I don't. I think that they need more picks because they don't have a ton of picks in this draft, and they have so many holes. Yes, they need filled. So I feel like they're gonna trade out of eight, try to acquire a few more picks, mm-hmm. and they're gonna pick up a guy named Brian Burns, who's a DND tackle or a, what kind of outside linebacker, DN hybrid, mm-hmm. Von Miller style. Um, and I think they're gonna take him out of Florida State just because he plugs a hole. Plus, he's not in the top fifteen, so they can get him a little bit later and give up this eighth pick and get a few more picks. Does that make sense? Right. So I'm saying they're trading out. And that's the direction I see the Lions going. Uh, they, they also had a big need at safety. Maybe they see a safety that piques their interest there. But yeah. I'm going to say they trade out and they take uh, Brian Burns. What about what about the possibility of a tight end? I don't have a tight end okay. um, for the Lions. But what do you got? I, well, Hawkinson. In one, yeah, in one yeah in one of my in one of my drafts. Yeah, I have TJ. I have him going to Buffalo. Do you? Yeah. Buffalo, Buffalo Bills, and I my, also I would love other, the, in my other draft I have going to Buffalo. Buffalo yeah. yeah, totally. I would love the Broncos to take Hawkinson. Honestly, I think uh, yeah. everything that I've heard from this guy, or everything that I've heard and seen, is this guy's like a Travis Kelsey type mm-hmm. tight end. Yep, just a do it all, block yeah. and knock you on your ass, can catch, can just big. Yeah, corn for you know corn fed yeah. boy from Iowa. Sure, you know what I mean. Sure. Just one of those dudes. So well, especially with the big threat of uh, uh, of Odell gone, I, I think that's I think that's a great matchup. So that's that's where I'm gonna say because uh, originally I had him at Detroit, but I like I like your um, I like your draft there, trading up uh, to get some more additional picks and then uh, sending send, sending Hawkinson to the Bills. I love it. All right, so then um, so that puts us to number ten, Denver Broncos. I I'm different than you. Yes, yes. This is why I balked when you said Devin White. Earlier, I have Devin White to the Broncos do you? in one of mine. I know a lot of people have Drew Locke. Is that what you got there? I do. Yep. Missouri think, in the house. If it's not, I just – so Cecil Lammy, out of 104.3 The Fan here in Denver, familiar, has reported that Elway is not really sold on Drew Locke. Okay. Now, he's a big-time insider. He has connects. But, he, you know, it's all taken with a grain of salt. That's what Cecil's reporting. And he thinks that Devin White or Ed Oliver will more likely be the Broncos pick. Plan C would be TJ Hawkinson. So that's what Cecil's reporting. With all of them being on the board, Denver consider could consider some offensive line help as well. So if they said, or I'm sorry, with all of them off the board, so if for some reason Devin White's gone, Ed Oliver's gone, and TJ Hawkinson's gone, which is possible. All three of those guys could be gone. I think they go O-line, as does Cecil, and that's going to be Andre Dillard out of uh, Washington State offensive tackle. Hmm. Got to give Flacco some help up front. There's no way. That was his issue in Baltimore. It's how he got hurt. They had a bad O-line over there. Lamar Jackson was able to kind of piece it together and get him in the playoffs because he has the running ability. He doesn't need a great O-line to be great. Flacco needs a good O-line, dude. Uh, yeah, I could see that. Yep, Devin Bush. Uh, so Devin Bush, Devin White, TJ Hawkinson, or Andre Dillard at o- offensive tackle if all three of those guys are off the board. I don't think – I think Drew Locke is a smokescreen. I don't think Denver is going to go take another another chance on another quarterback. I think they'd rather ride it out with Flacco this year. Next year, you got Tua and a bunch of other guys coming out. The following year, you got Trevor Lawrence out of Clemson, and who knows who's going to arise from that class. Yeah. There's just going to be opportunities. This year is not the one to reach for a quarterback, and Drew Locke at 10 would definitely 
be, be a, reach. a reach. Well, and what I'm also seeing, I'm also reading that Vic Fangio is a big, big, you know, coming off Chicago's defense, uh, that he sees a little bit of Roquan Smith in Devin Bush. Mm. So obviously loves that. So, um, and that, and that's the new coach, obviously making some big changes and kind of doing what he wants. Um, I think that's a good possibility. I like that pick. I think, uh, yeah, that's. I think that's where we can kind of well, leave it there. We don't need to bore everyone going down all all thirty two for sure teams. But those are kind of the top ten and what you're looking at. You know who has a ton of picks in this year's draft too, and they're going to do damage to the Patriots. Patriots, <laughs> dude, they just have a ton. Patriots of picks. are sitting pretty, man. They're so good, bro. They're the way they run their team is just so good. They don't get married to players. They the don't organization. Get, gosh, they let people go so when it's time to pay them. So frustrating. Yeah. But yeah, let's see. Uh, NFL draft comes up this Thursday, gets underway Thursday night in prime time, continues Friday night, and then you'll have your uh, weekend coverage as well. The Do they do the first two rounds or is it just one round on Friday and one round on Saturday night? Uh, do you know? I think it's just the first I think it's two first rounds. First rounds, yep. So that, that'll be interesting. That'll be fun. Hopefully, uh, your team, not every team. You know, hopefully, if your team did well last year, obviously they probably don't have a good pick. My team didn't make the playoffs, so we're in a top ten. Right. We have a top ten pick. It's just the way it goes. After having a top five pick last year, or the fifth pick overall, so that was kind of annoying. Uh, let's jump into the YouTube comments uh, as we kind of um, wrap this up. We got some underrated news stories as well. We'll hit on. Uh, I'm going to read a couple from the last cast just because they came in really, really late. There's like three of them. Uh, this is from the homie X ripped. Whatever happened to the post on IG story about you copying the all black Yeezys early or it says copying the black Yeezys early. LOL. I don't know what he's talking about. JJ, did you put that up on the uh, most underrated story? Whatever happened to the post on IG story about you copying the black Yeezys early. LOL. I don't even know what that means. I definitely never said that. So I, I don't know who he's talking multiple to. multiple time to show everyone that they were, they were racing, out. but yeah. I never said they were. Did you say we're uh, copping early? <laughs> Oh, no. I was oh. asking. I'm pretty sure I was asking people if they were copping. Oh, just if they were copping. Yeah. Yeah, we I, didn't I'm pretty say sure, we were copping early. I'm pretty sure I put out a poll saying that, and I know I put up multiple photos showing, like, the kind of the, I guess, Adidas stock photo, then a in hand, and then an in hand with a 3M. So I don't remember seeing anything about early, bro. Yeah, Ripped, if I'm yeah. wrong... Tell me or, I don't know, screenshot. But, but show, if you have a plug screen. and we can cop early, you let us know. Yeah, that yeah. also ripped. <laughs> let me know what's good here. Reopt. Uh, CJ's up next. Uh, as always, amazing podcast, guys. I recently got a new job and travel a lot for work. Your podcasts are what get me through all those flights. Tiger killed the Masters. Definitely the best sports comeback story. Keep up the amazing work, guys. Appreciate it. CJ yeah. coming through. Jonathan's in. You guys get better every week. Keep it up. Appreciate you. Let me, uh, oops. Let me read more, make sure I'm getting all these comments here. I know some people came in real early today for the comments. I think it was a tough weekend too because you had the, we didn't get the podcast up until like 5.30 Mountain Time, which is probably 7.30, yeah, it is 7.30 on the East Coast or so. Right. You guys are busy. You get home with your family. Maybe you don't have a chance to check it out yet. Then you get into Saturday, Sunday's Easter. So the comments, we, it's not a crazy amount of comments this week because people are busy. Mm -hmm. We just didn't have give them enough time to consume the cast. I'm sure we'll probably get a flood of them coming in today and tomorrow. But then we'll be already having the next cast out. You yep. know what I mean? The yeah. grind doesn't stop. So. Um, Brian, the Philly plug What's good, homie Rockies this weekend, taking three or four games against the Phillies. Charlie Blackman is the devil. That dude kills us every game. Okay. Let me tell you something about Charlie Blackman. That guy, I was just about to rip Charlie Blackman's ass coming in here on Monday because he has looked, I've never seen a man look older, faster than Charlie Blackman. That was his very first home. Now I get it. He hit a walk off Homer that crushed you guys on Friday night, but that was his very first Homer of the year. And the guy was batting like 166 before that. I mean, he was, terrible he's been terrible this year it was like the charlie blackman's been on the side of a milk carton all year i didn't even know where the guy was i didn't even know if we traded him i didn't know if they bumped him down to the minors i didn't know what was going on so it's good to see charlie blackman is back welcome back just in time to shit on the philly plug ruin his weekend and give me uh twenty dollars nice uh he continues along walk off homer uh, walk off homer to, in game two and starts game three with another home run. Lost a few bucks to you, TTF, but we will run this back with more loot on the line when the Rockies come to Philly in the middle of May for three games. TTF, the fours should be in today's, uh, should be in today, says the tracking number. That's dope. That's the Jordan fours I was talking about. They're coming in. What are your thoughts on the Missoni Adidas Ultra Boost collection? You seen those, Dallas? Masoni Adidas Ultra Boost Collection. I haven't even seen them, bro. Uh, no, it doesn't sound familiar. M-I-S-S-O-N-I -S 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 Adidas Ultra Boost 
collection. Ultra Boost. Let me see. Is it a Klima? Is it a Reg? Is it... Oh, jeez. They look... Uh, I think I've seen these. They're, they are. They do look like a Klima. They're pretty... I don't know. One of them kind of looks like a, a Kith Aspen. Dude, what's really killing me here, dog, is like the clear cage. It doesn't look like there's a cage, but then when you look really closely, there is a cage. Right. It's kind of strange. Yeah, there's there's three different pairs. There, First thoughts, I'm not in. There there's a pair that look like a zebra. There's a pair, you know, that got like the zebra stripes on them. Uh, there's a pair that looks like kind of like a, a bullshit version of of obviously the aspens. But I do like the Klima looking white pair with the black laces. I think those are all right. They've been out now for a couple weeks on different weird UK sites, but uh, the Adidas US, I, no, I don't need these man at all, at all. Um. All right, so. Yeah, I'm the same way. I don't think first glance. I mean, if I saw him in hand, and it could possibly change my mind, but doesn't look good to me. He put two poop emojis. Uh, and how do you like the fear of God 180 air raid? Because to me, that shoe is fire. Mm-hmm. I think if it's a shoe I could get at retail, I'd be in. But I just know that I'm not going to be able to, and it's going to be way, excuse me, too hard to cop. Yeah. And uh, I don't, I don't have the patience for it. And you know what I re- don't need the shoe that bad. You know what retail is, right? No, what is 190. It? Oh shit. Yeah, 190. Not, not the 300, huh? Not the 300, man. So it's a great I think it's a great price. Oh, great I shoe. I can style the hell out of that. It's a mid. Oh uh, man, I I, I got to have that shoe. One last shoe, not sure if you saw, but I tweeted it to y'all. The Jordan 3 Nick Rivals comes out later this year, and that would look good with some Broncos throwback gear. I did. I responded with a Steve Atwater away throwback jersey. That would be super dope. I wish the shoe had a little bit more orange and blue on it cuz it's predominantly a, a white shoe. But uh, nonetheless, I thought it. I thought it was dope. Uh, now to JJ, my man, putting some enthusiasm into enthusiasm into the cast. Although you blew out my ears while wearing headphones a few times, love to see you trying to get better on the microphone more. Just stay confident, homie. Currently, you're like my lawnmower. Only you're like my lawnmower. Only goes on high or low. Believe in <laughs> yourself. <laughs> got John Denver. Oh, got John one. Denver's full Damn of it. shit. Oh, I, I, dude, I'm. I, my soundboard got too full, so I had to dump some shit. Yeah. And I dumped the Kawhi laugh. Oh, that was you? normally where the Kawhi laugh is, so I hit it out of... Uh, damn, I just got so Reflex. sad. Reflex. Yeah, I got I to gotta get that back in we here. get the Kawhi laugh back. Yeah, what is going on? Anyways, uh, where does he continue along? Although you blew out my ears while wearing headphones a few times, love to see you getting more confident on the mic. Currently, you're like my lawnmower, only goes on high or low. Believe in yourself. Keep plugging away because at some point, everything will flow naturally for you. The Patriot player from the it, last cast was Tyquan Underwood. The night before the Super Bowl versus the Giants, he was released. He re-signed with the Patriots two days later, or two days after the Super Bowl. Also, Malcolm Butler was benched for the Eagles Super Bowl for what a teammate said. He was caught with a woman and weed the night prior to curfew. Um, yeah, exactly. We were talking about that on last cast. Sorry, JJ. I didn't mean to cut you off. No worries. Thank you, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Boom. <laughs> Philly plug coming through as always. Appreciate you, dog. Eric is in. TTF, you're right. I enjoy I enjoy much more than you reading the emojis, LOL. But the fact that you do is great. Most would just skip over, but I can tell you really want to convey the comment in detail, which is awesome. I listen on Spotify straight through every cast, the whole two plus hours, and love every bit. You fools are a big part of my week. Salute. Eric K nice. is coming in. Appreciate you, dog. Matthew up next. Tyler Lockett did make a video making fun of Russell, but had DJ Fluker under the blanket of Sierra. Mm-hmm. Had me dying laughing, dude. Dallas showed me that. Yeah. And I uh, I was going to pull the audio and play it, but I didn't know. Like, it didn't really translate. Yeah. The audio didn't really you translate to You have to, to watch video. it in yeah. here. Yeah. It's exactly. It's a video thing. Like, some stuff we can play on here for the audio and video listens, uh, audience to listen to. Some stuff, it just doesn't work as well. So, um, that was pretty funny. Black Prez is up next. JJ's becoming my favorite character on the show. <laughs> Look at you, bud. Thanks, man. I appreciate Actually, it. Actually, we might we don't have to mix in a, a new theme song for you because you're just getting too popular. String stain. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. String stain. Uh, Black Prez. Um, shout out to Black Prez for that one. Goldeneye is up next. Oh, my God. The Galaxy Fold is so bad. Nice. I love the innovation, but all the folding phones – not moving or not moving in the right direction. It's I like where LG. Soon. What's up? It's too soon. Yeah, for totally. Society today. Uh, I like where LG is going with the air motion, where the front, 
where the front camera can recognize hand gestures mm-hmm. to operate the phone functions. Of course, with all these new gimmicks coming out, Apple is just chilling in the shadows, ready to pick and choose from what folks <laughs> or from what works and what's going to bust. It's exactly what they do. Totally. We've talked about that multiple times. Apple is not first to anything. They just perfect everything and make it very easy for idiots to use. Yep. That's why they're so popular and that's why they're so good. And also the shit just works well. After they perfect it, it doesn't break down, doesn't start glitching for the most part. I mean, on a wide scale. Obviously, you have your little things here and there. But uh, Dal, thank you for killing the Air Max 97 soul for me. In my mind, they have now become the Nike Aquafresh collab. Mm -hmm. I can't be wearing no toothpaste joints full. (laughs) Bang. (laughs) Look at that, dude. Can't be wearing no toothpaste. You killed the, uh, the, I guess you killed the resell. Single-handedly, yeah. damn. So. Dal Palantonio Dri- driving the re- <laughs> driving the resell into the floor. Yeah, into no sale. Most reselling guy, most resell killing guy on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, love it. There he is. Blake P is up next. I'm with TTF on the Samsung Fold. Hardly see the point of a folding phone since the Moto- Motorola Razor was a thing. It's going to be too big uh, to be a good phone and too small to be a good tablet. No thanks. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they are just trying to go for a co- kind of like an artist look or just something to help an artist in a way. But I don't, I just Apple think they're, I just did think a they're... really well, good job of like capturing that and making it kind of like making it perfect for guys like these who are artists who kind of use this every day, but a basic person like, I don't know, it's just someone off the street that could use this. Like, I, I just think they're literally doing it for innovation. I just think they're yeah. they're trying to show that they can do things faster, better, um, you know, they can't more better, efficiently. But, but obviously they're having issues. But Samsung's always been ahead of the curve with innovation. I think that's yeah. what they've been known for. And I like I think they like to push the envelope. I think that's why they're doing it. Appreciate you, Blake. Greg uh Greg is up next. Oh, the homie Brinker is in. I've been in for a minute. If you could only pick one player from this li- list of classic Rockies players to come in their prime and play today, who would you choose? Andres Galarraga, Dante Bichette, Nafi Perez, Vinny Castilla, Todd Helton, Larry Walker, or Troy Tulowitzki? Dow. Whoo! That's, he's laying it on thick there. That's Helton. tough. All right, so as a young kid for me, I was the biggest Dante Bichette fan. I was a huge. I remember coming to the game. We'd get tickets out in the outfield. I'd see Dante out there and left. I'd be yelling at him to come sign my ball. <laughs> I'd be yelling his name the whole damn show. And then it was ruined for me when this old older guy came to the game. Dante missed a play, and this guy started calling him Dante bullshit, and I could never get that out of my mind. <laughs> And oh, then no. I was like, man, I, as a young kid, I was like, damn, I want to be a fan of Dante bullshit. That's not good. Like, he's not my favorite player anymore. Yeah. As a young kid, I was probably like seven, eight years old. So then <laughs> I was like still trying to ride the Dante train hard. <laughs> but, dude, he started to get a little bit fat in his older days. Dante put on some pounds. And he could not play the field anymore. It was probably a couple years later after he was called bullshit and after I was still on the fence about him being my favorite player. And – I had already transitioned into loving Larry Walker. Larry Walker had started to come on strong. He was hitting bombs, Blake Street bombers. Dante was getting old. He was on the downside of his career. And then it's a rainy night at Coors. It's not even rainy. It's a little drizzly at Coors. Your boy's sitting out there and left. Dante Bichette comes up to make a play on a ball. Dude, he leans down and it goes right, Bill Buckner style, right through his legs, rolls all the way to the wall, costs us like three runs. The dude was too fat to get down. Then he's too fat to get back and hustle and get the ball. I was just like, this is it. I'm done with Dante. <laughs> yeah. I'm done with Dante Bichette forever. This guy's dead to me. I can't, I, he's, that's it. He just cost us the game in the ninth. It's tie game. Let the ball roll through his legs. And uh, from then on, it was Larry Walker forever. Larry Walker. Walker. That's how the announcer used to do it. Mm-hmm. If you're from Denver and you know that classic Larry Walker, it was like a nice little pause, and then it ding 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 I I I ding 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 I'm beating the shit out of this table. I'm surprised the whole cast didn't go down right now. <laughs> but, dude, that is, uh, that's Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. That was Larry Walker's walk-up song, and that forever made me – dude, Larry Walker's my guy, bro. Long yeah. story short – long story long, Larry. That was not long story short. I'll take the L on that. But uh, Larry Walker, Dallas. 
All right, mine uh, has to be, and I think it's it's. Uh, I've got I've got a couple stories as well, but I'm going to keep mine a lot shorter. Oh, that's uh, fine, Dal. Uh, Galarraga. Take that L on the way out. Have no fun if you don't want to. That's good. that's fine. Galarraga. Uh, oh, that's what he said. He said for the me, big cat dog. He said it's for me. It's the big cat. I'd even trade Arenado for him. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Brinker. Holy jeez. I don't even know what I just said there. Uh, that's great, dude. Yeah. I think I think that's a that's a great question because that took me back. That's it. it reminded me of when I was... But no Todd Helton? When I got let down by Dante Bichette. What? No Todd Helton? You know, I don't know. I, I like Todd. Todd's one of the all-timers, <laughs> but he's just not one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. Um, Todd, Todd's Todd's tight, man. I, I'm, I'm a fan of Todd. I like Todd. I like that he's friends with Peyton. I like that he's uh, he lives here. He's made his home here. He's a hunting, yeah. fishing, Colorado guy. He's you like know, got black the beard. Man. Yeah, just drives a simple like Toyota Tundra. You know what I mean? Like He's yeah. a simple guy. Just similar to Blackman. But uh, Helton, honestly, I feel like the Rockies did Helton a huge favor. He stayed around way longer than he should have. Yeah. I think they kept him around. We could, we should have had someone else playing first base probably the last three years of his career. He wasn't hitting at all. It was they, they did him big 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 time favor. Uh, the third eye is in mates. Great cast again, lads. Those pink dicks suck hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, my bad. <laughs> and then uh, I hit him with the bitch shots. Hit him with I'm the sorry, bitch shots. I love I'm sorry, it. I didn't mean to. Uh, to the haters, feel free to continue to keep swallowing those hard toe pink dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. St. Skinner is in. First off, let's shout out Dal's mom for still uh, for still filling up the family love tank. My mother-in-law still gives my wife and I uh, Easter baskets every year. So wait, Dal, did you get the Easter basket yesterday? Hell yeah, I did. Did you get the coins in the chocolate? Hell yeah, I did. In the M&Ms? Yep. Did you eat the M&Ms? I had to throw them away. <laughs> but don't tell my mom. <laughs> you don't... Okay. I had a total of $25 uh, between coins and, and dollar bills within the eggs. It was great. Uh, uh, he continues along. The Galaxy Fold is the only avail or the Galaxy Fold is only available for GSM carriers, T-Mobile and AT&T in the US. Samsung's always trying to come out with new gimmicks, curved glass, built-in pen for their products and they go try to draw consumers away from Apple and other manufacturers. It's not until Apple adapts the technology that is because why that it is widely used, just like wireless charging. Mm -hmm. Another fire cast, boys. Keep them coming. Appreciate you, dog. Exactly, dude. And I was, it's funny. We went to buy AirPods the other day. I'm in the Apple store. Worst experience I've ever had in an Apple store in my life. I, uh, my girl went to buy AirPods. Great experience. Yeah. The girl I was dealing with just wanted to switch out my case because it's cracking and breaking, giving me a bunch of lip, giving me a bunch of attitude, puts me on a list in line now to go talk to a genius. I don't need a genius, bitch. I just need to get the fucking case. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> doesn't take a genius to I, find right. this case is busted. And then, so then I let, I, 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 I entertain her, bro, and I never do this, uh -oh. but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep it chill. I'm trying to have a good day. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to ruin anyone else's day. I'm trying not to cause a scene. So I wait. I'm sitting there waiting for a genius in the in the store. AirPods have been purchased, yeah. been done, been yeah. gone. I knew I should have just not entertained her, not listened to her. I should have just walked over to the cases, talked to someone else. I can't tell you how many times these Apple cases start to bust off and break and stuff, and they just switch it out for you. I if it's within a year, they switch it out for you. Do? I can't tell me. I've probably had that happen three or four times. I didn't know they did that. Well, that's your fault. That's tight. So what happens is, this lady starts giving me all kinds of tood. Then starts giving me excuses. Well, I don't even think we have that color anymore. Da -da -da -da, all this stuff. I'm like, listen here, you Oompa Loompa looking bitch. I'm about to fucking go off right now. Mm -hmm. If you do not just talk to me, no, like be, be courteous here. Yeah. Is this Apple? Person. This is supposed to be the customer service king. Yeah. Apple, Starbucks, aren't they like the, that's yeah. like running the world in customer service, right? Tesla. Tesla. Without yeah, a doubt. Tesla. She, instead, she's giving me all kinds of flack, giving me all kinds of nonsense. So I just uh, let her put me on the list and I left just like a good man. Didn't get my case, didn't bitch, didn't complain. I just left and got bitched up. So actually, I she that was her with the gun. I basically had this gun. That's the kind of shots I was firing. <laughs> Not very good. But anyway, AirPods. The gentleman was like, he was offering the $200 ones. Sure. I was like, no. Why would we need those? He's like, yeah. Also, we just got word Apple canceled the whole wireless charging thing. Yep. So he's like, they're not doing anything to do with wireless charging now. You'd have to buy a third-party provider. I'm like, yep. why would anyone pay $200? Why did they even come out with $200 AirPods if you guys canceled your own at wireless charging deal, but you still want to hit me for $200 yeah. because they have wireless charging that I could use with Belkin sure. or someone else, right? Yeah. Stupid. 
I, I, I would agree. I did buy the wireless case because I already have three wireless chargers that I won in contests that I just had lying around. Right. So for me, I didn't have to go out and buy something that wasn't their own product. I already had it, so it made sense for me because I use wireless charger for my phone all the time. So uh, for me, I was like, well, let me give it a shot. But I didn't need the new processor and the new Siri integration. So You I did need it. you're exactly right, but whatever. The uh, I honestly think that the... Um the AirPods are one of the sickest things I've bought. Like they work so well. I use totally. them every single day. I use them a ton. If I lost them tomorrow, I'd pay the 160 like that. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like that. That's real. That's me snapping quick. I'd pay the 160 again like that because I feel like they're worth it. Yeah. I feel like that's the value. 200 it, with all the other stuff. I don't think. No. Yeah. Just stupid. Different threshold. But it doesn't matter. It's like uh, you saw Ted lost his AirPods in Japan. Yeah, totally. He tried to go buy another pair. Couldn't even buy them. Right. Sold out over there. And he's all, you could tell he was so pissed. That was that Ted winning spirit you I love to see. You he bet. was just initially, oh, well, I guess they're hyped now. I didn't even know the fucking shits were hyped. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. just so mad, dude, because he's like, couldn't get, he walked into Apple and the guy, media was like, hey, yeah, I just need to get some AirPods. The guy was like, oh, arrow. he like looked at him like he was nuts. Like, well, we're, we're out. We oh, got we, those. We've been out. And Ted, oh, and just turned around and walked out. He's like, well, apparently they're hype now. I didn't know they were hype. I ain't even fucking in on the hype. You know, just just real mad. Like, it was so funny, dude. That dude, guy just cracks me uh, up. Uh, Costco had uh, the first gen AirPods on sale for 140 Oh, I really? Over the weekend. Yeah, so 140 That's a deal. Next up, Brady Norton is in. Brady, I think it's the first time I've seen you in here. Welcome to the cast, dog. Welcome in the comments. Uh, it seems to me now that he got Sierra on his arm. He's found his black voice. He's talking about Russell Wilson. Uh, hey, Seattle. We got a deal. We got a deal. Hey, Seattle. I don't have the new one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you see he put up a new video? Yeah, I did. He's getting cornrows. Sierra's rowing. From Sierra. She's doing cornrows in his hair. And he's still talking to the same still voice. Still sounds like a 90s R&B love track. Wow. Hey, what's going down? It's Sunday night. Slow jams. Yeah. Russell Wilson and Sierra. We over here. And Easter of course. Sunday. And of course. I got my baby girl back here doing my hair. I don't know what he said. I don't remember what he said, but it was sounded like that. It was like this deep, slow voice, like the Hey Seattle. We got a deal. We got a deal. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the it was say that kind of thing. Same kind of thing. Yeah. Pretty funny. Um Britain is in. That's funny. That's Dallas's last name. He spells it the exact same too. Yeah. But then your name is Britain. Just your first name. I think. Maybe I'm uh Maybe I don't know. Maybe your name's not Britain. Maybe it's just your screen name. Anyways, <laughs> moving into the comment. Yo, TTF, hit me up on IG if you plan uh, on leaning out some more of your collection. Bought from you before and messaged you a while back about it. Oh, yeah, I do remember that shit. My guy. Uh, been following you since way before the unfortunate house fire. Haven't chimed in on the podcast yet, but love the topics you guys cover. The three of you make a good team, and I look forward to many more episodes. Be easy, fellas. Keep up the great work. My man, Britain coming through appreciate you dog i definitely will i actually just went through a ton of sneaker uh my sneaker room and i have a ton of sneakers that i'm getting rid of and selling and uh some heat some just not heat some gr shit there's a it runs the gamut some dead stock some been worn a lot some been worn none or a little bit uh it runs everything so keep on the lookout for that i'm gonna definitely hit you up uh, the homie Decker is up next. Love the cast. Haven't been commenting because I've been really busy with school and sports, but try to catch all the casts. Keep up the fire content. Appreciate you, my dog. Mike the man. Up next. Uh, best cast on the internet. Anyone not on this shit is missing out. Also love the pink dick ones. I think they're a fire colorway. Only wish the black leather was not as stamped the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's cool if no one else likes them, and I don't care about resale. My guy. Good man. I think... Uh, yeah, I agree. That's what I said. I, I don't like the way that leather is. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You put it perfectly. It, it looks stamped. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like the leather is really that soft or really, it's not really tumbled because it's super soft. It's just stamped that way. That's what, yeah. it, you know, it's made to look that way it for whatever reason. It looks cheaper to me. And uh, those toe boxes, man, feel like cardboard. So I'm out. No doubt. I'm out. No doubt. Uh, next up, Raged Worm Boy. Yo, is Dal a collector though? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't know if, uh, is that like, are you asking a serious question? Are you taking shots? Do you listen to the show? Because if you do listen to the show, Dal is definitely a collector, man. He talked about having collecting toys, all the toys he's collected, all the stuff he has still in packages, the patience it took for him as a little kid to not open those things, which I don't even understand how he did it because every time I got something as a little kid, if I had two of them, I opened both. I didn't even <laughs> care. I just wanted to open shit. So yeah. from a little kid and him to be able to collect toys for that long, uh, Incredible. And again, I don't know if you're I taking don't. shots. 
It might be. It sounds like just wearing all his shoes now. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? It might be that, but I also think uh, I, I mentioned that I'm a collector a lot, right. so I think it's just sarcasm. Saying, is he <laughs> yeah. a collector though? Oh, so, is he really a collector mm, though? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's so just shots, funny. but I'll take it. It's cool. Either way, I don't know, but yeah, yeah Dal, Dal is definitely a collector. Hell yeah, that's like the real answer to the question. And I don't know why I answered that for you, <laughs> like you couldn't answer yourself. But Good uh, man. Brian the Philly Plug responded: Dal collects everything from shoes to toys, supreme accessories that he didn't realize were half the size of the item he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Ah, the Philly Plug. Hilarious. Um, let's see. Juro style is in. Samsung is always testing the waters with unique features and ones that vibe with their cu- customers are implemented into future models. The Note line of phones was laughed at for being too big. Now every flagship company has a big phone. Then Samsung implemented the curved edges on the screens, then removing the home button and offering the user the most screen real estate possible, but having a small footprint. This folding screen is Samsung's way of going into the future of the idea with giving you more screen without it being too bulky to carry. If it clicks with their users, they'll continue to work on it in future models. If not, they'll let the feature of be phased out the cast was great as always keep it up play us p.s being from maui i immediately noticed ttf sick aloha shirt matching the acronym prestos back while uh black and white details man my man that fit is fire bam fire emoji hang loose emoji nice. right there yeah. from hawaii appreciate you dog thanks for coming through i think you're totally right on samsung hit it dead on that's exactly what they do. They test out all the features. What's going to work? What's not going to work? What do the consumers like? What they don't like? What are people actually going to use? What they don't use? And then they implement them in future models. I think that's a that's a great point. Great way to put it. Uh, let's see. Moving along here. Chinky Sanchez is up next. Don't forget. Uh, oh, don't forget. She, oh, he's talking about. Um, what the hell is her name? Crazy bitch. Dead in the woods. Oh, Soul Pais. School. Soul Pais. Thank you. Uh <laughs> Uh, don't forget she was on a gun forum back in March asking many questions about buying a shotgun in Colorado as a Florida native. She was also mentioning that she didn't have any friends in Florida who knew about guns, but she was coming to Colorado to meet up with her gun knowledgeable friends to go shoot in the forest. Whatever. Uh, now, whether or not that's true, I don't know, but they figured it out on that forum and it, they figured out it was her on the forum. Moving along, I got lucky on the shock drop for the bread fours. Never won a shock drop before. I was in the sneakers app on my lunch break at work checking to see what my crimson tints would be, were being delivered that same day, and I saw it pop up when they dropped. I never moved my fingers so fast, selected my size, waited in line, and as well got the W in less than a minute. <laughs> Bang. Look at that, man. Shout out to you. Chinky, uh, thanks for coming through. I'm glad you copped the bread fours. Uh, g- good luck. Or er, um, good looking. Glad you got, uh, glad you got lucky on those ones. Jeez. I can't talk today. My allergies. We just talked about that. Allergies are the worst the right worst. now. Like it's causing me to miss sleep. It's causing, it's messing up. My, my throat is itching. Do your, does your throat get itchy when you get allergies? Not really. My man. eyes, my nose get itchy, my yeah. nose runny. And then I get a throat itch, like a crazy throat itch. I get all that except the throat itch. I don't get the throat itch. So weird. Dude. I get the worst itchy eyes though. Oh my God. So weird. So that wraps it up for the uh, YouTube comments this week, man. Appreciate you guys coming through as always um chiming in and uh yeah if you want if there's anything you want us to know that's the best way to do it man youtube comments also make sure you're following on socials at most underrated podcast at dal palantonio on twitter at omg it's ttf on everything 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 all right let's move uh into the last couple uh little underrated news stories here what do you guys got uh well actually do you have something for jj Oh, yes, I do, actually. Yes, I, I do. thought you did. I do. I, I have something for all of us. You brought in. Oh, it's something for all of us. I thought it was for JJ. Sorry, you brought it in. You're like, JJ, rah, 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 rah. I said some shit before. And I was like, save it for the cast, you bastard. Shut up. Yeah, I want to <laughs> hook JJ up, man, with some with some feel good stuff. Uh, so Thank obviously you. we're uh, we're an affiliate of Pure Spectrum CBD. We love their stuff. So uh, they send out monthly packages, man. So we uh, we just got our monthly package. Dope. Hey. And I'd like to share a few things. Look with, at that. With My the team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With the string team. With the string. Spring. Yeah, let me just put this. This is your theme music, JJ. Let me just put this underneath. Do you even know this song, JJ? No. String stain. Not in the slightest. Oh, 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 everyone sing along right here for JJ. Oh, 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 oh. Like a ride a campfire. You know what that part reminds me of? What? Reminds me of that nursery rhyme. Row your boat. Row. Oh row, my gosh. Row your boat. I think you just ruined <laughs> this song forever for me. What are you talking about? You don't remember that? Yeah. Dallas. That's, that's what, what you think about when you hear this. Row, row, row your boat. Oh my god That's what you think about When you hear this Hell yeah When I think about When I hear this I think about 17 I think about my old Jeep 
I think about the stars in the sky. Just kidding. Those are lyrics to the song. If you guys don't know the song. <laughs> String sting. There it is. String sting. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. good, though. Oh, What's whoops. with the bitch? I don't Give know. That, was, shot, that was an accidental bump. All right. All right. That was because it's like we need to wrap that up an hour ago. So okay. we got a couple things in here, um, and I'll let you kind of guys choose what you want, man. And I don't really need any of it. I'll, I'll give it to you guys because uh, obviously my sister is a big part of oh, the, yeah, yeah. You know, this company. So no big deal here. But we do have the Muscle and Joint Relief Lotion. This is 250 milligrams, you know, anything from putting it on your face to your elbows, you know, if you got eczema, you know, and you've got some small, you know, disorders. Yeah. This will work great, nice. man. Hell you yeah. Know, got a little bit of tennis elbow, JJ. Got a little bit of sunburn Actually, action. Do. He got, does. He has like some lifter's elbow or something. This guy's doing this every day. He's like, he's like uh, Evan Traumatano. I'm like, Ooh. He's like always PRs, flexing his, but. What? Yeah. Well, these are also good for butt cramps. So, uh, so this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Never had so, one of those if before. If anything is bugging you, anything yeah. at all, even your batol, go ahead and rub <laughs> it on there. Rub it on there, okay. Uh, the other one is... What are is we doing, Dallas, with the sponsorships? <laughs> That's how they want their product, man. Yeah, so no we're we're going to get killed. The other one is Jesus. the uh, pain relief relaxation salve. This salve is the stuff that you and I use yeah. quite a bit that really rubs in really nice, smells good. This is that stuff that, I don't know, it almost feels like like a heating vibe after it. Just You can get is this... It like, Icy hot type of thing? Kind of. I, I equate this more to like your icy hot, your biofreeze kind of stuff, whereas the lotion is the same milligram and will still help, yeah. but this is more of like a lotion, more of like a Vaseline salve. So gotcha. I like this stuff. Um, and then the other stuff is the Very isolate. Good. This is one gram CBD isolate. So you can actually, it has a little... A spoon in here you can actually just sco scoop that right in your mouth or you can put it in like a drink you know some water um, kind of like what I do I mix a, a, a fiber in the morning with my water yeah, yeah. just to make sure my digestion's on point so this stuff is very very strong very fast working and goes r right to the point that's that, what this stuff that's is. That's what I need, man. Okay. <laughs> this is real good stuff. So um, so this is the new stuff from Pure Spectrum. Uh, remember, Pure so Spectrum CBD. So are these CBD. new products that they just came out with? Nope. Or? No, 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 no. They've been offered. These are, these are current products. Okay. So this is just stuff that uh, they, they've given us to, to thank us. But um, awesome. both products, so you can find all this, PureSpectrumCBD.com. Yep. Enter MUP for 10% off of your entire order. Um, it's great stuff. Uh, again, they're, they're locally here in Evergreen. You can take tours of their facility. They're very transparent as a company um, very very good stuff um, I use it daily I use a lot of their stuff I use their tincture um, so I just put that I dab that right on uh, in the mouth you know uh, before and after bed again for relaxation before for you ailments. were on the plane were you doing the tincture or were you doing the uh, vape pen I did the tincture okay you did and you were doing like yeah you like three or four drops or I something? did like three or four drops yeah. man got super relaxed but again um, you know great company uh, doing great things so I'll let you guys choose on kind of what you want so thank you yeah. pure spectrum CBD hell yeah Sick, super sick. And uh, so on that note, yeah, man, I think we'll uh, close out the show. Some underrated news. You got some stories from the weekend. Uh, some things that happened over the weekend. Underrated news. Yeah. What do you got? We sure do. So let me get back to it. Sorry, man. I was no, you're uh, good. cleaning up everything here. No, you're good, bud. Um, what do you guys, uh, obviously, JJ probably doesn't know as much as you and I, but uh, the Game Boy. Everybody know about the Game Boy? Yeah, of course. Dude. It's a classic joint. Right? I was actually about to get it when I was like, I think I was 10 or 9. Okay. I was at Costco. I was about to get a Game Boy. I was saving up my money. But literally the next time I came, they came out with a freaking DS, and I yeah. went for the DS and the Game Boy's history for me. Wait, like a, what kind of Game Boy, though? So that like probably would have been Boy, Game it's Boy It's like color? a purple one. Yeah, color. Game Boy Color. It Game was Boy like color. kind okay. of a... Kind of like a razor phone type of thing, and kind of flipped up. Gotcha. It was oh, purple dude, I remember like that. It was a little pocket joint, and yeah. it flipped the screen. Flipped yeah. up, dude. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Jeez. like a whole another generation. Yeah. I know, but that's like the closest thing I got. So the Game Boy has obviously evolved, but we're talking about the, <laughs> <laughs> the Game Boy. He's talking about yeah. is nothing special. Yeah, the Game Boy that we're talking about <laughs> here is the O. G. Yeah, dude. And that yesterday, thick one. The yesterday, thick joint. Remember, you had to have the light on the top if you wanted to play at night because it, it was not called color. the Game Boy Light. Yeah, absolutely. Dude. Oh, geez. So the original Game Boy just turned thirty years Holy old shit. yesterday. So the oh, original that's crazy. The original OG. Do you have one of those, Dal? I still have two. Oh uh, yeah, that's under it. Nintendo, correct? Uh, yes, and I'm, I still have two. And I'm telling really? you, oh. the best game still of of all time on this. Uh, you know, maybe flamed. It's Tetris. Tetris, yeah. 
Tetris on this on this console is just the sickest, man. Do you remember the? Do you remember the song? No, because my mom never let me play with the the sound up. <laughs> like turn that shit off! Or I'm throwing it out the window. What? You didn't have no. headphones? Uh. God, you got I headphones. think I don't think I cared enough to listen to the music at the time. I was just happy yeah. to be playing. At that Dude. time, you probably couldn't buy headphones by themselves. You had to actually buy a discman to get right. Headphones. Yeah, yeah, and they were the <laughs> joints that came over the top with the pads <laughs> the on the worst. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Nintendo and Game Boy, man. This is this was big for me, man. My childhood. My sister and I, man. We used to. So every time you beat Tetris, you have this rocket ship that launches. You know, when I think after you get a hundred thousand points, I think is what mm-hmm. it is. So man, I got so many great memories. I remember exactly getting this on Christmas Day, waking up. My sister got a Huffy uh, bicycle, and I got the Game Boy. And of course, my sister didn't want to ride the bicycle. She wanted to play Game Boy. Right. So I won that year. I had the best gift. I beat her ass every time she played. It was awesome. That was the Great uh, memories. that was the same thing with me the year the uh, Game Gear came out. Maybe, oh, remember Sega got, Game Gear? You got the Sega Game Gear. So I got it for Christmas. Uh, I had the Game Boy earlier, and your then fa- I got the your Game family, Gear. Your family was rich. We were not rich. My dad actually got it used at a place called Game Force. Okay. That was when that shit just opened, like reselling games and shit. Yeah. Nintendo games and all that stuff. That was kind of like when that was still brand, like new, dude. There was no GameStop Game or any Force. of that shit yet. They were all like kind of individual Mom their own little shops. Yeah, there was yeah. no... Uh, Game Force is probably the closest to a corporation. I don't even know if they were... I think there was just multiple locations here in Colorado. Totally. But that being said, I got the Game Boy yeah. for Christmas. Same thing, dude. Everyone just... I don't even remember what anyone else got. They just wanted to play the the Game Gear uh-huh. the whole time. And then to make it better, we drove to my grandma's house in Wyoming from Colorado. It was like an hour, hour and a half oh, drive. Oh, you had a road trip. So I was just up on that Game Boy, dude, or Game Gear. Everyone was so mad at me. Everyone, I was like, why is everyone pissed at me? Like, <laughs> you no, know, my parents are mad at me for not sharing. I'm like, they got Christmas gifts. Like, yeah. what are we doing here? Yeah, just because their Christmas gifts suck. Just because I'm in they, <laughs> oh, they can't ride their Huffy in our in our car. So now yeah. I have, they have to <laughs> steal my gift. What is going on? That's my fault. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You got a new hoodie and you didn't bring it. My bad. Like I got a Game Gear. What do you want me to do? Did uh, did your <laughs> get did off you, my get off my D? Damn. Did you or your parents ever get the? Then I got my mouth slapped. <laughs> <laughs> get off my D. At no doubt. Did you guys ever get the TV tuner for your Game Gear? No, dog. No, no. What is that, <laughs> dog? They had a little adapter. No, that you they did add to the Game Gear, and it, and it brought like over the air uh, signal like, to your TV. Si- uh, yeah, to 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 watch TV so on it's your like Game a Gear. Switch. Oh, to watch TV on your Game yeah, Gear. Yeah, it was like I thought an, it was to play your Game Gear on the TV. It was like an antenna. Oh, for what? your TV. Yeah, you had a TV tuner for your game gear. I didn't even know about that. Dog, you could watch. I was out the game. You'd, you could watch Scrambled TV on your game gear. Really? Did you have that? Yeah, uh, I didn't. But you know who did? <laughs> who? Muzzy. Mueller. Oh, Muzzy. <laughs> Muzzy, our boy. <laughs> That's Dude, funny. He had the game gear TV tuner. So, uh, yeah, that was tight, man. That is so, oh, so sick. But anyways. The game uh, Boy turns 30. Wow. Shout out. Happy birthday, world. Oh, shit. I wonder, do any of you guys still have a Game Boy listening? Dow said he has two of them. I've got That's two of them. That's nuts. Are you selling them? No. You selling one of them? No. Why do, do you, you have to play them? Get off my D. <laughs> it's my it's my Game Boy. <laughs> you have the one you got originally from Christmas? I do. And then you bought another one? Yeah. The And I bought the other one cheap. Like, I just bought it on eBay or Craigslist. I can't even remember now. But uh, I wanted to keep the original one because obviously some of the plastic's peeling off. And, yeah. And it was the first of its It still time, has right? the chip in the side where your sister was reaching for it and yep. smacked it out of your hand and you it bet. fell. Yeah, all that kind you of bet. stuff. You bet. And then the other one is, uh, is uh, almost... Uh, Vins, almost very new really? stock. Yeah, um, and I still have like twenty four games ish. Wow, or something like that. Yeah. You take you that on trips? Play it? Um, I have. I, t- I haven't this year, but yeah, I played it a couple times last year. I think Robin and I, um, I brought it out because you know she she's almost as old as I am, so she's kind of nostalgic as well. So yeah. her and I went toe to toe, beat her ass bad. By the way, <laughs> did you know? <laughs> So you guys are familiar. Jeez. I had to get that in there. You guys are familiar with One Up, correct? Yes. Yes. So did you know there's a new location off of Arapahoe Road, nine twenty five? Dude, we just drove by it the other day. Yeah. We were like, "What? I wonder how long that's going to be in biz." Let me tell you something. What? It's better than the downtown. Really? It more is room? Better. Is that there why? There is more room. There is more uh, different type of games to play. So they have one of my favorite, right? The basketball shooter yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I love that game. I beat everybody, right? I've won TVs and contests from Samsung uh, with that game. You know, that's the one of the two games I can beat you at. Otherwise, you yeah. know, you take me out on all of them, right? You, you kill can, me at I that I can shit. also beat you on the football. That, that and the football that, toss. That, oh, man, you I kill me. That. I just am disgusted with myself. I didn't even play him yesterday. I walked by him at Dave yeah. & Buster's and I was so disappointed. Yeah. You know what a real competitor would have done? Yeah. Dropped his shit, dropped his bag, told everyone, get away from me. I'm going to put in the work and I'm going to get better. That's what I'm saying. I should have done that. Yeah. It was Easter Sunday. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> for sure but anyways we went to this new one up and uh 
you know, I beat Robin a lot at this basketball game, whatever. I've done it in the past, whatever. Uh, that being said, she killed it. Really? At one up. She even beat me a couple times, man. On so, basketball? And you know what? It was welcomed. Wow. For her to even say the word sports, much less Yeah, for play, her to be even be interested to get I involved. I was so pumped to take an L from her a That's couple awesome. times, man. So we went there. Shout outs to one up, man. Great place. You and I should go. We might even bring Stringstein every once in a while. It's a great time. Why wouldn't we? As long as they're playing this. Yeah, as long as they're playing this. Stringstein. <laughs> there it is. Totally. All right. Now, so shout-outs to uh, Game Boy. Happy birthday. Uh, it was a great, great part of my childhood, and it still exists today. So appreciate you. Uh, that being said, what do you guys know about uh, Saved by the Bell? What do I know? Are shall you we, kidding shall, me? Shall we, shall we do a... When I wake up in the morning and the morning <laughs> I don't think I'll ever make it home time. What do you... What do you what's, what's up with Saved by the Bell? Uh, there, was, uh, there was a reunion this weekend, this past Saturday. A re- like on TV? No. Um, they all got together and had dinner. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I know. how this is, is that like frontline news? I'm conf- I'm how is it frontline news? It is. Doesn't awful. this create rumors? Doesn't this create shock? Isn't it also What's called front happen? page it's news? All, yeah, front page. Myself. Okay. Go ahead. Either way. Front, <laughs> I like frontline news. That's fine. I, so, I meant to go for it's that. It's all right. That got mixed up. But, um, Do you even know this song? No. Hey, I don't have know you this ever, TV show. I don't know any of these You've people. never been to the Max? I haven't done any of this, huh. but at the end of the day, it's just a reunion. Like yeah. people do that. We have, I've had family reunions. Like what's the big deal? Hey, this is 30 years of friendship and that's what this looks like. This is amazing. What are we going to have? Are we going to have a spinoff? Are they back? Are they going to, aren't they too old for that though? It sounds like they're too old for you. JP. What do you mean? If they came out with Fuller House, you don't think, <laughs> you don't think I mean, those people were little the kids on the show and now they're grown and I, they made it work. Well, based Minus off like, the title of the show, Saved by the Bell, I'm guessing this happens in like the high, in high school or maybe college. Here's I'm what I'm going to tell you what happens in the spinoff. They're all teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Back at Bayside. <laughs> Back at Bayside High. Belding's still the principal. Yeah. <laughs> He's still the principal. Everyone Richard else Belding. is a teacher. Yep. You got, you got uh, Kapowski. You got Screech Powers. You got Lisa Turtle. <laughs> yeah. You got uh, Jesse Spano. 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 Jessica Spano. Spano. Dude, I guess I guess JJ never heard the song Friends Forever. I guess he never saw that episode. Unbelievable. It's a great episode. What uh was everyone there? Not everybody was there. That's what's interesting, right? Uh, they've how had- did I know? Diamond is missing. Diamond was Shocking. missing. Why is he always missing? Because he did porn. What's the deal? Uh, Why is he so <laughs> weird? He did porn. Yeah, he's a fucking weirdo. He got in trouble with the law. They they kicked him out of the. He, they're not friends. Diamond, forever. stop messing around. And just be screech, dude. Diamond wasn't there, and Lisa Turtle was not there. Lark Voorhees. Lark Voorhees was. Why not, was she not there? She was absent from. What this. does she have to do? Is she married? <laughs> I don't know. She kind of fell off the face of the earth. Shots for both of them. For Voorhees and Diamond. What are you guys doing? Yeah. How are you guys not at the Say by the Bell reunion? But uh, I got to let you see what these guys look yeah, like. Let me so let me see. Flip this so- over. But we, we had Mark Paul. So we had Zach. We had, uh, obviously, Kelly Kapowski. And we had wow, dude. Jessica Spano. Oh and we had Mario Lord. Lopez. Mario Lopez looked like he hadn't grown a year in, in age at all. Well, I think it's because we see him on Extra all the time. Or on, uh, what's the show he's on? Is he on yeah, Extra? I'm extra. Sure. Or is it Entertainment Tonight? One I'm of the two sure is extra. It is extra. You're right. All right. So he's on extra all the time. So we see him there. Yeah. Um, where's Spano? Over here on the far? Spano. And she's with her man? Yeah. Uh, husband. And then Mario has his wife. Uh, Kelly Kapowski has her husband. And then Mark Paul ha- or Mark Paul Gosler has his wife. Wow. Crazy, huh? All right. So you're missing Voorhees. You're missing Diamond. You're yeah. missing Belding. I wouldn't call it a full-on reunion. I would say Zach, Kelly, Slater, and uh, Kapowski, or I mean uh, Jesse Jesse Spano, Jesse. got together and had dinner with their yeah. significant others. Yeah. I wouldn't call it a reunion. Dale. That's pretty. Is damn that close. your words or someone on the net? That's someone on the net. But I think it's a reunion. I'm good enough with that because yeah, Diamond don't really need for him. a reunion for me. I need I need a little bit more. You need all of people. Them. No, I don't need a f- all, but I can't just have four. Also, get your significant others out of the photo. I don't give a shit about those fucks. Uh-huh. Number two, number what is it? I'm on three. Okay, number three. <laughs> why is why is Morris look like Belding? <laughs> Morris looks like he's going into belding mode. He's got the receipts. He's got the full. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Be- looks like yeah. have- All it's missing is that laugh. All it's missing is the belding laugh. <laughs> Dang, I can't even do this. <laughs> it's so good. Huh? Yeah, it's so- <laughs> you were never even expecting that, were you? Oh, man. Was- where's, oh, that- God. where's that from? Yeah. Oh, uh, he is receding hair a little bit, but uh, I think he's making it up with the beard. 
He looks like Belding, dude, from far away. Like he's looks like he's going towards Belding. He looks like he could be Mr. Belding on the new class. Are they doing the new class and he's Belding? Is that the next? Is that what they're? <laughs> is that what's be. going on? It might be. Yeah, you're right. Slater doesn't look like. I think that'd be a great spinoff. Zach, who was the who was the dickhead jerk, right? Now all of a sudden is the principal. I love it. That would be fun. Yeah. And all this. Do you remember Mr. Belding's brother? Who came in there with it was a cool teacher and they went like canoeing and stuff and then you know Dude, it, was, it sounds so familiar, but oh, yeah. I don't remember what he looks like. That was a great episode too. We uh all right, we gotta get out of here. We're gonna be talking Saved by the Bell reruns for year, for hours. <laughs> uh anything more you guys want to close on? Anything I'm else? Good. We're gonna have uh we're gonna have uh the real sneaker Steve up in here on Thursday from the re up. He's gonna talk to us a little bit about uh some sneaks, what's going on over there, what's going on also at uh sneaker con this weekend. They're gonna have a booth out there, we're gonna have a booth out there. I've seen Slobby Robbie's gonna be there. I've seen um I've heard about Kais, but I've heard about uh what's the other uh JC, two J's kicks gonna two be J's. out there. I don't know why I struggle with that. But uh, so it should be a lot of fun, man. So we're going to talk to him on Thursday, get you guys set up, and that episode will drop on uh, Friday for you guys, and then we'll have SneakerCon this weekend. Again, shout out to the winners. What is it? YBN Tabasco, Mar Rivera 6. I have no idea how I just remembered that. But um, that's it, man. That's, that is all. As always, thank you guys for listening, and we will see you fools Friday.